Hello and welcome to another episode of uh, Dungeons and Dungeons. My name is Alex K, and I'm one of those players. This is episode 70 of Primaris Paradox. Thank you for tuning in, whether in the future or live. That's it. We're good. All right. Sure thing. Uh, let's get to my least favorite part of the game. Luck and roll. Everyone put your dice in the air. Whoop. Two fourteens, oh. I won't accept. I need a need one of you. All right. Okay. Enjoy your sixteen. I'm going to fifteen. Okay. Highest roll recaps, but only if they want to. Otherwise, lowest roll recaps. Um. In the last episode, the party continued trailing northwest. Uh, and they made their way to Borkston and made arri arrived safely. Titus is then returned in exchange for a new dire bird named Boris. Thrak learns about the bee inn and what they and that they have an eating contest to eat a whole tuna. The wizard convinces the group to stay at the inn. Thrak becomes outraged when he finds the challenge is for a group of ten people who need to eat fifteen hundred pounds of fish. Possible. Um, Aurora and Thrak try to strategize the best means to beat this challenge, including them holding a mock trial for Aurora to see if she can even eat four pounds, which she barely handles to do. But this contribution is far too short against the quota of 150 pounds that she's supposed to meet. The same quota Thrak couldn't even meet. In the end, humiliated Thrak admits defeat. The travel continues towards the crag, and the party makes its way to the Great Divide. Boris is deposited in the proper handler's care, and the band begins trekking across the frozen ice. Days go by, and the travel is long and boring. The team encounters a dozen Dragonborn, who are also making their way. The soldiers reveal that they have been traveling the endless seas, trying to get to a clutch of the former white dragon in hopes of consuming its egg's energy, so they can then have their own progeny. The two groups decide to travel with each other and march onward. The large ensemble arrives to a dangerous area where the Dragonborns warn where Mohaz have built a lair. The Dragonborn advised to wait for nightfall, and so the two groups loiter, waiting for dusk. Great stuff. Very good. Um, inspiration, if you don't have it. Oh, what a great recap. There was the magic school people, though. Sergeant Carey. Yeah, they it was did. Pretty uh, cool. It was pretty cool. Yeah, it turns out that a lot of the anti mages, uh, the new recruit anti mages, seem to have a lot of animosity to mages. Yeah. Whereas the old beard. ones are just like, listen, you're probably a good guy. I won't, I won't let him make fun of you. Let me know, all right? <laughs> it's just the millennial, the, mo <laughs> the millennials. So. Yeah, Aurora met another burned figure who uh, mistook her for yep. a, a victim of a Aegon. A, a victim of the uh, the mages, the cr the cruel mages that they are. You know, mages just seem like terrible people. Yes. What do you think about that, Drag? Just you and uh, I. I just came in and dusted myself off with a couple of uh, presentations and pissed everybody off. But that's cool, I guess. I mean. You know, in each to each their own. They're entitled to their opinion. <laughs> Good. Good. All right. So then, as uh, where we left off, our intrepid group, um, the leader of this expedition of Dragonborn, a man named uh, Kane Aldridge, Captain Kane Aldridge, uh, had designated some people to watch the perimeter and descended into the Remoraz Den during nightfall, where he had stated that the Remoraz shouldn't be as active. They're not nocturnal, uh, according to him. Uh, he in he insisted that the group of you travel uh, between their ranks in the middle. And, um, you, and you guys push forward into the dark lair. The distant sounds of these skittering, hissing noises. You can tell there are smaller creatures, small relatives, that seem to be avoiding your in just out, outside of the peripherals. Those with dark vision or a weird magical eye, you would be able to see these large centipede creatures um, about you know, like the size like of a long, like a big tuna or something, like 13 feet. We're going back to tuna right now. My All brain right. is on tuna. <laughs> We're tunas? Uh, yeah, but like yeah. some thirteen foot like centipede creatures that scurry into these holes and disappear at the edge of your peripherals. 
they uh, and the, the group continues to push deep. The echoing sounds of your footstep uh, work through this cave system. You see no exit on the other side so far, and um, it's cold. Rack, you you know what's going on. oh my god. Cold. I look like I look like uh, Nicole when he's in the desert. Sweating? Yeah. <laughs> the cold sweats, you know. I look like Thrak when he's in the desert. Content? Happy. Mm. <laughs> I'm sweating. Okay. I'm yes. smiling. Aurora, you feel comfortable. You know, the cold the cold doesn't seem to bother you much anyway. The cold doesn't bother me anyway. Yeah, something like that. <laughs> <laughs> Does anybody have an extra pair of gloves? Uh, uh, do, you, do you ask that out loud? Yeah. Uh, within like three seconds, uh, you'd get a, th a pair of gloves like uh, thrown in your direction uh, by one uh, of the dragonborn. I put them. I put them on over the other gloves. So. <laughs> oh. Big mitts, hard to make magic signs, but doable. Just still doable. Um. All right. And the group pushes forward. You can tell you're in the den of some some sort of creature. There's bones, fish bones, it looks like, for the most part. So, uh, and these sort of thick tunnels that don't look dug out. They almost look burned away. They, you can see the sort of warping of the ice in such a way that makes it look like it's layers of, a, of, of, of an intense heat applied to it in these sort of ridge-like patterns. And you can hear the occasional drips of water as if... Perhaps for some of the more perceptive people, uh, everyone besides Mister yeah. Mister Thrak, who's uh, shuddering and shivering, mm -hmm. imply that these tunnels were used rather recently. You know, for 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 Flame Temple, this is pretty fucking cold. We're not at the Flame Temple yet. I can tell. It's another two days travel through oh. this den. Okay. The Remoraz have built a mile-long structure from side to side, circle and closing. I don't know what drives them, but we will press. Um, behind you, you can hear the uh, sort of hiss tones of uh, Volric, who uh, leans in and uh, whispers to over Amelia, but to Thrak. Are you scared? Would you prefer we running? Scared of cold. <laughs> I'm fairly certain I'm cold-blooded, and I don't complain nearly as much as you. Well, yeah, but, you know, you're not helping. Would you like a third pair of mittens? Yes. He, he reaches towards his gauntlets and slides off both <laughs> pairs of mittens and tosses them to you, Thrak. I try now, desperately to put them you, on. They probably you don't fit. You squeeze them over just barely. Your fingers don't even reach the end, but you have now three layers of mittens on your hand. Better. <laughs> your oh, fingers God. aren't cold. <laughs> they feel nice. You know, maybe not as warm as you'd like. I have to wait for him to roll a sleight of hand check one time. <laughs> <laughs> he has super disadvantage. He rolls four dice and takes the lowest two. Can you even take those off now? <laughs> Why would I ever want to take them off, Amelia? Well, it's be in a hot environment. <laughs> there's no gonna be. There's no hot involved down here. What happens if someone blows it like cold air at your face, which isn't as well protected? <laughs> Please don't. <gasps> no, no, Amelia! Brack, <laughs> oh, you're walking Rack. forward, and you can feel this cold breeze tickle the back of your neck, and it's oh, uh, it makes you shudder down to your spine. I don't know how spine. Amelia got up to his neck. He's got like two feet on her. <laughs> 3D6 emotion. Really, there. really got a really strong pair yeah, of ones. She, <laughs> a, a big jump. She, she, every time she blows, she leaps in the air first. <laughs> that helps keep me warm by jumping like five feet in the air, you know? Jumping. It's 3d6 emotional damage, 1d1 1 1D1 cold damage. Uh, <laughs> uh, as you're having, as you're, you know, messing with Thrak and he's uh, shuddering, Aurora's laughing at him, and Ishtar is 
stoic and looking for <laughs> what is your star up to i'm looking very stoic mm -hmm, mm -hmm, yeah and i'm looking in the other direction oh Wait, you're looking no. backwards did someone ever clean up the vomit on my winter clothing that happened from Aurora when she ate too much fish? Um, Black. <laughs> Remember. He pressed the meditation. Did he? It looks like there's still yellow Three. green there. <laughs> there's a stain there. <laughs> he left just enough to leave a stain in it. Oh. Magic can't, can't solve everything. That's not very yeah, Magic's not good. Bad. Doesn't do anything. Yeah, Maybe that's if bad. you rip it off, I can mend it and then it'll be back and I knew. Rip it off. As no, you're I saying that. Rip off my dress. You for a moment there's a flicker. A light change. Yeah. And then a sudden dip of the flame as there's a brief scream, just a, a very brief as ah! <laughs> someone is grabbed and pulled away and their torch hits the ground. <laughs> oh no, Nosferatu! <laughs> and in that same moment of attack, another flame on the other side disappears. What the hell was fighting it? We're at night! They're not supposed to be up at night! And where's, where's the as, fire, Khan? As that torch hits the ground, and uh, the dragonborn who is standing next to him talking, like, stumbles back a bit, uh, he shouts out, They're awake! And Kane, in the front, shouts, Everyone, run! And he starts to sprint. Oh. Oh. Run. Everybody, get in Crap. here! They, they don't seem to have any intent to fight. I you run. Know, two of them have just gone missing. All right, Crack, you're 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 following Kane's lead. You can you can see him pretty clearly with your dark vision. He's not looking side to side. He's sprinting forward. A hand on his hip holding his blade but still not drawing it even. And every all the other dragonborn are starting to run. Amelia, if you're like hesitating looking back at the torch on the ground, uh, you would feel Valric sort of like not push you out of the way, but like grab your shoulder to turn you forward. Uh, but we're gonna leave him there to die! I guess, uh, you... yeah, I'm running, I guess. Yeah, it's, you, it's up to you. You could uh, run for the torch to try to find where he got taken. Um, oh, that's an option. It is. is. An you, option? You, guys, you guys do not have to run with them. Can I look with my eagle eyes? You don't have dark, dark vision. vision. Oh shit! Where was the guy that, that taken in the back? Where? where, where? All right, Thrak. Uh, your perception sucks, but these are very big creatures that have revealed themselves to those with dark vision. You would see that a massive creature. Uh, its its size seems to rival the Salvador the Dragon you saw. Oh, this massive God. centipede, no, very easily, dead. very easily. Its mouth, when it the brief moment it went to attack, sort of engulfed this whole creature. It sort of closed around him. That's why the scream was so brief and the torch just dropped. He, so he he's no, no, not seeable. It. I can't he's, see him. He, he's been, like, it looks like this creature Swallow. swallowed him. No, forget it. Brad. But he could still be alive. In the it, stomach? But it seemed, after it grabbed him, it didn't stick around. It went into, like, a hole in the wall. So you know where it's gone. If you wanted to stay and fight, but none of the other dragonborn seem to be on that on that mindset right now. Self preservation. Uh what's Ishtar doing? Yeah, Ishtar, what are you doing? Uh, I am doing what I do best. I have my shield in front of me, two hands, and I'm running forward. <laughs> Ishtar is running. Uh, that's what I'm running well do I see do I see this thing's face? Um yeah, yeah, they, they have a horrific sort of centipede S structure, but instead of mandibles, they, it's very clear they have these sort of wide open jaw S structures, like, uh, sort of like this. Like a... the, they, they are quite huge, if, you know. You you would stand about, uh... And I this... can't see anything in, in its jaw. 
Well, it seemed to snap its jaws around him before it ran away, but this would be the brief moment before attack that you... Could I? Could I? Could I? Could I do something very, very stupid? It depends on how stupid, and uh, if the, if it's the rules allow it, but sure, you can start... I will, I will try to dimension door inside of its... <laughs> You want to go into its mouth. Yeah. Keep in mind, if it does close, I don't think you have line of sight to get out. I don't. Uh, I don't need line of sight to get out with Dimension Door. Hmm. Oh, you're a bird there, many spot spots? Hmm, I, if I sell, it. if I save one of these Dragonborns. Yeah, that's a... Hmm. I... I remember this in a Critical Role episode. <laughs> they just dimension door to the mouth. Or dimension door out. What is I suppose do? you can, technically. I would imply I would implore <laughs> more thought about it, but yeah. you definitely can. You definitely can. If you if you if that's the choice you wanna make. I barely know these guys. <laughs> but saving one of them, there's so there's so little left. They've already lost so many. Are they just that bad that they just lose people this quickly? I mean, like they these, just went into a Remora's den and bought. These creatures are as big as dragons. You know, they they're not something you want to fight. And they thought that they could. Uh, they thought they, they were wrong about their freaking sleep cycles. I mean, what is? Do they know anything? Are we gonna get killed with these people? Well, um, you don't. You don't have to. I, I'm not. I'm not rushing the scene. All right, time has stopped while you're making this decision. There's no rush, Rack. You. You. You can do this. All right. I want to be out of character for a second here. Yes. And I'm gonna talk with. with is it worth two spell slots? To try, I can get out myself. Like, unless there's something inside of its mouth that just cancels magic. I just think of it more of like when you're like in the stomach, you're it's like crushing you. Don't you need like semantics or something in Dimension Door? Uh, like, I don't want you to get like stuck and like you can't bamf out. It's kind of it's a stupid Because you can idea. easily bamf in, but the worry is you bamfing out. Uh, no, it's ju it's just a. <laughs> so there, <laughs> there's your friendly drawing of it. Oh no, it only requires That's very vision. Long. <laughs> it only requires vision, but the vision is just a place you can see, one that you can visualize, or one that you can describe. A place that you visualize is all of us together here, like right Correct. now. <laughs> Correct. So if somebody stands still... I can stand still. For a second. I could visualize myself inside where I believe this guy might be inside of his mouth. Or like close to being digested. And then I can visualize and it'll take six seconds. No, twelve seconds. How, how close is this guy to us? Like, is 12 seconds an eternity where he's going to kill us? Or is he running away? This creature? Like I said, after it grabbed him, it started to retreat into a hole in the wall. It is just leaving with him. Okay. So, basically, it's... it's I, I won't be longer than 12 seconds. And... Mm -hmm. It's either I get him or I don't, but I'm down two spell slots. Do you want to be down two spell slots? He's also one of two. Which one do you want to save? I, I don't know. I'm getting the first one that I grab. So, it, Who I don't care. Who was the one that went in? This guy and this guy? And the, yeah, the ones dragged far off to the sides gotcha. are the ones that disappeared. So what color do you like more? Do you like... Brown? I don't care. I, I'm not even going to look. <laughs> I'm just going to go to the... Brown this dragon. is instinctual. I'm not going to do that. So, I'm just going to roll... If we have to roll a dice on which one I do, that's fine. But, um, I'm going to use two spell slots. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. 
All right. I'll stand uh, still. Based on the spell's description that I can visualize the place, as long as I'm going to say, Aurora, stand still. And I'm, I'm going to go. I'm stand still. All right. Utterly insane, and I love it. Um, track. As everyone starts to sprint, include, including Ishtar, uh, this brief moment where I suppose um, Amelia is hesitating uh, because she she's like, wait, are these people fucking a band? Like, this person just disappeared. Like, we got to do something. Um, you you channel your magic and you hear Rock go, oh, this is a bad <laughs> idea, brother. Because <laughs> he, he can feel what you're about to do. Yeah. He knows what's up. Yeah, you know. And um, you suddenly, with a warp of magic through a doorway, feel the crushing squeeze of this thing's inside. Um, you've plotted yourself straight into the what you visualize, which is the mouth of this creature. And, uh, you know, because you, you've used some slots and because I think it's kind of cool, uh, you can see the Dragonborns uh, just on the cusp of being swallowed. You're doing this all very quickly. I, I and grab whatever body part hand. I can. And I grab his hand. Scared. I grab his hand and then I immediately dimension door out as, as quickly as I can. Okay. All right. I need you to roll for me to see if you can grab him and pull, like, keep hold of him while you're casting the second instance of the spell. I need you to roll for me in athletics. Okay, that's pretty good though. My athletic yeah, is plus five. Too. It's eleven. So. Eleven. Do you want to use inspiration on this roll? <laughs> I will say I right have, now you I are failing. You are failing the check. This creature okay. has very powerful insight. Okay. Good job. I use my, I use my inspiration. It's gone. <laughs> okay. But you, your new total is now a twenty-three. You grip onto his hand, and with your free hand, you you motion, you know, you Spider-Man symbol, sigil in the air, do some things, and <laughs> both of you are pulled out. Hey, God, yay! Uh, you both reappear, standing with Aurora, who is now about, because they're sprinting, and it's been 12 seconds, 120 feet behind the sources of light and the people we, running. I, we start booking it. I, I push him towards... The, the way that we're going. This injured box? He is injured, yes. He can, took, I can, uh, can I pick him up and carry him with me, like, over shoulders? Oh, we'll crush uh, he carry can, him. He can run. He can move. <laughs> he, he's just like, I'm saying, like, he's hurt. Like, that, okay, okay, that, okay, attack, okay. that attack hurt him quite a lot. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. But you, you, you managed to save him. And uh, you guys start to sprint after them. Uh, you have no light source with you, but you can see them only 120 feet away, right? So you can see the light pretty clearly, and you can see the light starting to disappear as more of them are being grabbed. Oh, oh my no. god. Uh, does it one look like I have one. a creature or something? Yeah, like? it looks like it's all by these creatures. One by one, you watch all five torches just dissipate as you're trying to catch up. Oh, I can't god. see you. Oh god. <laughs> but um, as the final one is just going out and you can hear the sort of brief muffled scream, um, there's light ahead of you. You can see the end of the den. And um, you guys push forward. And despite hearing the hisses behind you, the clattering of of noises and the occasional screams of some of these guys who probably weren't immediately swallowed and tried to fight back. It's left behind you. Oh, no. Mm. And, um, yeah, you guys come out and the, the Dragonborn after running maybe like another you know, hundred or so feet away from the entrance start to slow down and pant because they were sprinting. guys catch up with them. Oh, the hourglass. The guy with the fucking hourglass, man. Did he's he... alive. He's alive. He wasn't he wasn't holding a torch. As you know, the oh. only people who seemed to have been grabbed were those were who had light sources. Oh god. Uh, except for the one you guys saved, which is uh Brinja. Yeah. Alright. 
a weird cowboy one. <laughs> Thank oh, God. Cool. <laughs> not, not the one I, you know, not not particularly one I care about, but the <laughs> <Yeah, that>. partner, <laughs> we saved your laugh, partner. The, the hat is gone. Uh, no, don't say that. <laughs> no, the hat is definitely. I would like to absorbed. think the hat is super glue. <laughs> the hats fit to his head because his horns go through it. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> it can't, very, very hard to remove. Oh, God. Man, they lost so many. Dude, these guys. These guys well, are struggling. They did tell you they started as 50. I know, dude. Holy <laughs> cow. You know, 50? Uh, over uh, over a hundred years? Yeah, that's not a bad rate. <laughs> Yeah, but they like five of them that just got taken out of one show here. Jeez, we're bad luck. I think. Okay, you, think you are the bad luck. All right. Well, do we? Okay, so there's nobody has light. Oh man. Yeah, they're it's they're they're like after running a hundred feet, uh, a few of them need like captain. We need to stop. Catch our breath. Uh, he he's uh, he comes to a stop, and turns to face them. Um, Brinjar is back with you guys, actually. You know, he was running with you. And only, uh, two of, two of you could have left him in the dust, but my head, I didn't ask, but my head cannon was that the two faster people were staying beside their friends. Uh, Ishtar, you would actually be up with them, because you started sprinting that time. God. Ishtar so my, looking cool. My head cannon, and you can feel free to say, no, that's not what I did. But my head cannon is that Amelia and Aurora waited for Thrak to come back. Absolutely. Yeah, they did. Well, I had Absolutely. to anyway. Yeah. yeah. Well, no, they were ahead of me. If they're running, well, you just so I, much I, I, all right. Uh, you guys, you guys kept pace with Thrak as to not leave him alone. Yeah, because both of you are technically faster than he is. No, you just run, dude. <laughs> Max <laughs> speed. <laughs> no, no, no. Dude, what do you do? What do you do, Laris? What's Amelia do? Um, I, I don't really care. It, we got out, <laughs> so uh, I mean, even if I you... went ahead, I could come back and get to you guys. I'm fine being back here. Okay, so you to jog with me? Sure. Put in a little, little slow jog. I mean, you disappeared, so. Uh, but yeah, Istra doesn't care about us, so. <laughs> that learned something a little bit there. Very cool. Ishtar. What's up? Because you're up with this group, you would get to hear some conversation happening. Just some brief chatter between them. And it seems to be mostly inspired by this one. Right here. This uh, this copper dragon who seemed to be second in command. Uh, he goes, Those creatures want rest. And they seem to be attacking the light bears. He, he looks towards the captain for a moment. You. You knew. And he starts to step forward. Ishtar, do you want to just let him let him have it out? Let him say whatever they're going to say to each other? Yeah, I'm going to step in. All right, just making sure. Just making sure you don't want to step in. If, if you do, just, uh, you know, just raise your hand, you know, let me know. Let me know. But if you do, let me know. All right. You knew they didn't sleep. You knew they would go after the light bearers. That's why you chose five. Tell me I'm wrong, Captain. And the Captain... Ishtar just narrows his eyes, staring. <laughs> Say something! Anything! Tell me you did not sacrifice them. And it's about this time, because you're only 12 seconds behind or so, uh, that your group begins to run up with the saliva covered, kind of burning saliva, a bit of an acidic feel to it. Thrak and Brinja. <laughs> 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 
and you can hear their fight. I did well, what seems was pretty necessary. One I did what was necessary. If you want me to tell you I what I knew, I can't. I gamble. We have more pressing f And who even knows how many will be at that clutch? There could only be three at the end of this. And what then? We've been traveling for over a hundred years now. And we've lost more than that. I lead us to our end goal, and that is my prerogative. Without me, you had been lost in the Endless Sea. Are you going to falter now when we're this close? Come. We must set up camp. We must get further from the creature. No! <gasps> oh. And uh, Balor draws his swords and aims what? it at him. Fellas, 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 just, you know, just, you know, no, no need for aggression. Aurora, you approach? I would approach, yeah. Okay. I, I would say, I brought Brimjar, and I see uh, Valor take out his sword, and I'm just like... Rrr. Stand back, human. This is not between you. But I will not follow a captain who would lead us to death for his own desires. We took but this journey to save our people, not sacrifice them. I understand, but you, you instigating your captain doesn't make you any better. There's no need for violence. Look how little you guys are. There's no need for the two of you to be on either sides. We all need to stick together and, and see it through and try to survive the best that we can. He... Hmm. Roll me a persuasion. I... <laughs> I'm not good at these. You know, I don't... You chose charisma. <laughs> it's <I, I, laughs> a dumb stat. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna, no, I'm going to use my inspiration. It's okay. Okay. What? <laughs> I don't like this game. It, it could have been your people holding the torch. He was making sacrifices either. You've lost sight of our goal, brother. And I won't follow you any further. Hand over the compass. It's at this point that uh, Kane draws both of his swords. <laughs> Oh, can I? I can't intervene. Does it look like well, if you, I get you, in the middle? You can physically intervene. Can I get you a just middle? Don't know, you look like you're gonna, you like, just stab don't know. Me. You don't know how they'll react, but you could. You you tried using words and it didn't dissuade them, but you could physically intervene. You are strong, I'll, I'll, but you I'm don't know how know. they'll react. I know. Um. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. Boss. You don't have to. I can't. You can't let them? I can't. Gentlemen, Ooh. please! I'm tired and full of <laughs> Remora saliva. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> Done I'm enough. I'm holding my hands out like like a like a like a pool guard of kids crossing. Just please! Move, human! It could be you he sacrifices next. He doesn't care for us or you. Only making it to the end. Stand down, Baylor. I am your captain. Aurora, you're, you're stopping them. You seem to be stopping them from, from at least getting immediately physical. Uh, Does anyone else want to speak? You're watching Aurora try to stop these two. Uh, I, I'm not, I'm not. 
uh, Aurora, as you're standing there, and they're both mm -hmm. holding their weapons, but both of them seem to at least respect you enough to sort of hear you out, wait for you to move. <laughs> uh, <laughs> they go at each other. Brynjord, Brynjord wa walks forward. Is that true, Captain? You knew that they would go after me and the others holding the torches. You intended to leave us from the start. The captain's head turns slightly to the side. <gasps> Answer the question. I can't. Can't he wait? He can't. He, because... he refuses to answer because he but knows he, the he answer. He knows the truth, though, right? Mm. Yeah, he, he can't answer because it would just be admitting that that is what he did. He he blatantly sacrificed them. Hold on, wait, Captain, is this how you lead your people? Is this true? Because if that is the case, then Baylor has every right to rebel against you. Yeah, but does anyone else know how to use the compass? I look at There's Baylor. There's a sort of resounding silence. Yeah, so you can't. Can't take it from because you won't know how to do it. He learned through his escapades in the endless ocean. We're nearly near the end. How he far are you leave. willing to go? Whatever it takes. That is what Kane replies. Stand aside, girl. I need to take the compass from it. Baylor says that, right? Yes. I won't give you the compass, Baylor. Then you leave me no choice. And both of them are very keen on fighting now. Oh, no. <clears throat> And within that moment, you would watch the grip tighten, one of their foot move, a pivot, and both of them I clash in the On who? Which one Baylor. do you want? No! Uh, Baylor! Man! No! Man! Okay. No! You want the cat? All right. You cast oh, no. Banish. Um, what type of saving throw does he need to Charisma. Ooh, you remember that off the top of your head because of how many times you had to roll it. I know. <laughs> Ooh, and that's a natural 15. Plus, <gasps> he has a positive charisma. Oh! Bringing him, but not proficiency, bringing up to 17. Oh. 17 does not save. You watch as the two of them go to class, his sword swinging overhead. Suddenly, Baylor out of existence. Uh, the area he was in, the snow whips about, and uh, Kane's swing goes right through it. There was there was no attempt to parry. He was just swinging on him. They were both just swinging on each other. Mm -hmm. But Kane Kane seems uh, caught off guard by this. What what have what have you done? He points his sword in your direction, Thar. Since you uh, the magic sort of came from your direction. And, uh, the crowd he's, sort of moves out of the way. He's banished away. Um, How as long? someone who's been banished, Captain, um, you're just temporarily not here for the next minute. It depends on if this is the native plane or not. We're all primarin. You got 
some time until it's returned. Ready the rope. Bind him when he returns. I'll Captain. have no more. What? Why isn't he allowed to view the compass? What what makes the compass so special in which like you have to be the one holding it? Is it due to like some writing that only you can understand? Is it something passed down? It's delicate. I want <laughs> as suddenly he stabbed from behind. Wait! Who? Oh, wait, what? By oh, from this guy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> and he drops to his knees. You would have seen me dead, huh? <laughs> and the others start to uh, start to look in his oh, direction. They're, they're Julius Caesaring him right now, dude. <laughs> well, they're they're definitely mutinying him because he he very much sacrificed a bunch of them. Thorn speaks up. How can you expect us to trust you after this? How many more previously lost were because of your actions intentional? And you've been hiding the compass, uh, Valdric, from behind you, since the very beginning. Not letting anyone else see it. We figured its magic must require such things. But now I... Thorin uh, just sort of tilts his head up. You dug your own grave, Captain. We're not going to kill you, though. We're not monsters. But you will lead us no further. Bind him! Wait for Bayless' return before we make any other... What an intriguing turn of events. Uh, Yorick says from beside you, Ishtar. I you saw should. this coming, but at least this death is not on your hands. Can you drop the spell early? I can. He motions his hand as if saying, feel free. I drop banishment. Within like, you know, <laughs> 12 seconds of it ending anyways. He comes back mid swing. <gasps> and he turns Baylor. around. I missed your vitals, Captain. You can thank me for that. And um Baylor seems shocked. He he he, he kind of he didn't expect to come back to this. And um they move to bind him. Ooh, as they as they move to bind him, um, I'll, I'll say, Captain, if um, if you don't trust your brothers with the compass, may I hold it? What if we don't trust you? I think they already took Shush! it from him. Uh, they they haven't yet. Uh, he's just been stabbed um, and brought to his knees. He's mm -hmm. basically being held down. Baylor is going to reach under his collar and pull out this device. I just want to give him a chance to like for him to openly give it to me, instead of like taking taking it. Yeah, but he's being grappled, as you. Yeah, they they they're holding. Oh, okay. And Baylor, he grabs it and he, he opens it, just like a compass, pointing the direction. He holds it up and aims it in that direction and. Seems to be that simple. At least for now. Are there any writing uh, marks on it? There's not north, south, east, and west. Notice there's these weird sigils. Um, they're not a written language. They just seem to be magic. But in the middle, you can see this sort of uh, black shard. This sort of almost obsidian-looking shard that seems to be teetering on nothing. Just sort of pointing a direction and vibrating it ever so slightly. You also notice there are some rooms that currently aren't lit up on it. 
Is it written in Draconic? No, no, there's no no language on oh, it. Oh, there's no language. No written language, just a visible wound. And Baylor closes it before tying it around his neck. Come. We need to get further away from these creatures. Unless they get hungry again. We'll press forward for another hour. Then we should rest, unless we find ourselves too tired to move it. Um, after they've tied him, uh, Renya rips the, the sword from, uh, out from inside of Cain, and they, they do medical him. How well they, do they do? They do great. They, they patch it up. They, they don't seem, they don't seem to want to heal him. They, but they don't want him to die either. Well then, I guess we proceed. Yorick says to you, Ishtar. I nod. And uh, they they start to they start to walk with him. Uh, Thorin doing most of the carrying. Brinjar uh, holding up the compass and leading. And uh, or not Brynjar, uh, ba Baylor. Brynjar moves back to you, Thrak. He goes. I don't know what compelled you to hop into the mouth of a monster like that, but you have my thanks. It's lost too many people. The tragedy to lose more. It's only right that you took that action, but uh, I don't blame you. Uh, here, let me give you something. Just as a, I don't know, a, a thank you. You, uh, you have trouble carrying all that stuff of yours? Uh, I, yeah, I mean. I guess he does. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he tosses you a satchel with these runes inscribed around the top. Bag of holding. I, didn't, I hate it I, here. I, I ran yeah. out of supplies a long time ago. <laughs> Feel free uh. to keep it. And if you don't want it, it's worth a few hundred gold back on the shore. All right. I appreciate it. <laughs> I hate it here. Okay. You know, you, you saved him. <laughs> Fuck it. Anyway. Oh, what the hell am I gonna do with the bag of holding? I can't get gains out of this. <laughs> put that in this Charles bag! I can't get gains out of it. Don't, don't put it in this Charles bag. <laughs> this don't try it. No. If you don't want to hold on and put it, I'll put it in his Charles bag. Here, Just give it to me. It, flip it upside down. Maybe you'll find something good. Oh, it's a bag. <laughs> I give it to Amelia. Okay. <laughs> hey, Ishtar, I'm going to put this in your bag. <laughs> oh, isn't that pretty? Look, it's got a little... What, what, is, what does it look like, actually? It's black gray. It's very boring. No way. There's no way it's black gray. It's black gray. gray? No, 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 no. It's not black gray, but it is boring. It, it is unfortunately boring, I'll tell you. It's a, it's, it's a sort of a, a leathered color, and it, the runes inscribed around the top of it seem to be this uh, glowing blue color. I'm gonna put my head in it, and I die. I give it to <laughs> I give it to Amelia. This is yours. I don't I don't need this. I don't have I don't have anything here. You can keep it. Who wants a bag? Me? No, no one wants his gift. This guy's, Me? this guy's life-saving gift, and we're just openly going. I don't want it. I don't want it. I want it. I want it. I don't. I guess no one wants it. Let's I just leave it. it on the ground. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll, I'll hold on I to it. I tackle Amelia like this is the Super Bowl. Uh, Amelia <laughs> dies. <laughs> I cast oh my God! On Aurora again. <laughs> no! No! You all right, Aurora. Can I entrust you with this man's gift to me, to yes. hold and to keep no. No. until yes. I want it back? No. Yes. Yes. Pretty no. please. Pretty please. Yes. No. Are you gonna stop cooking that awful, dreadful meals? And Eggs. No. Actually, cook stuff. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> At no, least here. I stop playing. Thank you. I. Uh. Hand it or, to or you're oh. handed a, a bag of holding. What 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 immediately goes into the bag of holding? I I flip it inside out and dump everything and see what's inside. Um, there's uh some there are some rations because he didn't he never he didn't need them. So you could add a 
you could add some ancient rations there. Hey, who knows if they're, they're good anymore? Who knows? Another pair of gloves. <laughs> there, there is clothing for other weathers, but uh, oh, he, that's useful actually. They, they, he seems to believe he's at the end of his journey. Oh well, there you go. Oh my god, I'm gonna stick in a bunch um, of stuff. Aside from that, there's a uh, a mess kit. You know, more cooking utensils. Thank God. Uh, wood carver's tools. You, you could add those too. Oh, that's great. You have wood carver's tools. What I'm not proficient, that? but we'll figure it out. And now she has them, at least, you know? Wow. There you Made go. somebody's day, I guess. Got tinker's tools, cook's utensils, wood carver's tools. I just gotta be proficient now. And you're keeping them all in the bag, right? And, and so throwing them all in the bag, yeah. I'm gonna make a separate tab. You know what, there? I, I made it a little more fancy. There's an iconography of a dragon on the outside. Looks hey. like it's uh, bronze. When she Ooh. reaches in and pulls... Or she, no, she just flipped it over, right? Yeah, she emptied it. Which uh, there's a bunch of knickknacks. You know, there's like a, a set of uh, a set of playing cards, but it, it looks like instead of the full fifty six, there's maybe like twenty, as if oh. he's just been throwing them randomly or something, getting rid of them. <laughs> Who knows? But it's it's a bunch of knickknacks, basically, things he didn't need anymore. Uh, as uh, as you um, you know pick up whatever you want out and start putting your stuff in your extra mm -hmm. shit. Um, the group, you can see, they've, uh, they've started to make a camp. One of them has, uh, taken out a, uh, like a, a pit and a metal pit and, and started to dig it into the ice, and the, the captain's hands seem to be bound to it. They, they have manacles on him now. So, we overheard these guys saying, and he said there can only be three left? Uh, about the, the eggs? He said something about there can there's gonna be three left in the end anyway. I well he made the captain made a bunch of speculations about like like you know we they have no guarantee as to how many like eggs are even gonna be there or anything. Like that in the end it could only be three people who get to like get this boom. Then what then? You know, he, he was basically just saying I, I, I make a thousand hard decisions <laughs> every fucking day we do okay. this. Well, he didn't sound confident in the number. I'm trying to figure out if he's trying to whittle down to three people, like he knows something about that only three people can enter somewhere or something like that. But I heard him mention the number three. Um, hmm. So that was just, I just felt like he was just speculating or. Is... Yeah, yeah. I mean, it was just some, like, you know. It was just some bull, like some look at this from my perspective situation. Just wondering how that that damn. Okay, that hourglass was very interesting. And did they? They're still holding it, right? Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, you can see he's actually inspecting it right now. He's trying to figure out uh, things about it. Mind if I take a look at that? You you approach him, uh, yeah. him, Keldor, and Thorn. Only if you're careful. Be careful. I don't know what to trust from the captain, but believing that this is fragile is true. I can feel it quaking in my hand. I say it he, in my uh, mind. This is it, Rock. It you. I don't know what this is, brother. I don't know, but we're going to find out right now. Identify! You cast Identify on it. And Identify reveals something straight. Identify calls this a mundane compass. Huh? This is just a compass. But it's very clearly not just a compass. But identify the spell that should yeah. should allow you to see it. Identifies it as a mundane compass. Huh. Your magic flows around it. The aura creates about it, and then retreats back into you. And yeah, that's what you come back with. Uh, detect magic. It. Uh, you've you've looked at it in his direction once before, and. Uh, it has that sort of weird temporal effect that the rest of them do. This wobbling magic around them that doesn't fit a school. Is there any sort of, like, illusion magic? Or any sort of, like, anything that's, like, 
trying to not prevent visible. this thing. Oh, yeah. You are aware there is a type, like a type of magic that identify and detect magic has trouble uh, yeah. witnessing curse. They they don't do great with curse. And this thing could be part of a curse. It might be a a beneficial part of a curse, a puzzle piece in a curse. It could be. Uh, man, this thing could be. I will say that. I'll say I'll, I'll bring it over to Ishtar. Uh, well, I won't bring it over. I'll say Ishtar, come here. I'm not gonna take this thing away from them. So I'm gonna stand. They they don't seem to, even when you identified it, he was hold like it was in his hand when he let yeah. you pass the spell. They they don't. He does not seem. Ishtar. They're not being hostile to mm -hmm. you, but they're definitely keeping them. Come over here for a second. Okay. I Walk over there. There's something odd about this. It could possibly be cursed. Okay. Now removing the curse on this might be possible with your magics, yeah? Um yes. But but that could be devastating to these people. Potentially. I would also need to rest if I were to do this. My my magic has detected that there's possibly possibly a curse on this object. Where did you where where is this from exactly? Upon entering the endless sea, we were met with a bee some hundred years ago, known as the Guide. The guide the entrusted the aid. Does anybody recall what the Guide looked like? Their appearance? Their... His appearance was that of the depictions of Azra, a constellation more. Azra. Azra, Azra, Azra. Amelia's met a uh, a Amelia. Come over here. Okay. You've met a piece of Azrael before, right? Yeah. Why? Would he put a curse on an object? Is he? Did he? Did he appear like somebody that would curse something, or? Was he mean, or or, no. or no. would he try to deceive? Did he sound no. deceptive? Or? No. Huh. If the item is cursed, and why do you think it's cursed? Looks over at the the captain, oh. and he's attuned to it. Wouldn't it also? He might. He might be prone to never want to leave it or not share it or give it to anybody else. That that's part of a curse. I mean. He, that makes sense. Why we? I've considered such thing. Why we're taking him with us rather than executing him. Whether these hundred years has changed him or this object, he was a good man. Does does removing a curse remove the magic from the item, or just the curse from from the item? Do you know? Hard to say. When we had mages with us, I'm sure they could answer. Uh, I mean, I've heard I... tale of swords of great power becoming useless after having their curse removed. A lot of times it's woven into the magic of it. How, how long ago have you been searching with... Oh, no, this compass, it allows you travel, right? Not. It what, shows what it? us the way to showed him the way. The gateways we needed and the path we needed to take in order to reach our destination. Sorry, I interrupted you. Uh, continue with the person that gave you this. It, it was a depiction of Azrael or person of constellation. It seemed to be um, like he wasn't there. As if it was a fragment left behind just to greet people who take this path. He warned us of our, if our intentions weren't good. I can't remember the entirety of it. Decades ago. Did, 
did this immediately lead you away from that side? Seemed to lead us where we need. Yeah, but where you needed to go, was that mainly away from where you went? It's hard to tell you. We... Did you I have don't... to perhaps... I know now where we are. We're in northern Zamari. We're far south of where we started, but we made it to the island of Zarmos. We've been to the wall itself. I've seen the bottom of it. We... Where we go seems to be... The wrong in... place? Inconsequential. No, it's... Have, Have you we... ever found anything? We found many dead dragons. Yep, so it's just leading you to dead dragons. Leading us to our request. Hmm. We don't know if any survived the blowing of the horn. At least none that were alive and active during him. Okay. We're coming here because we heard rumor that deep within the permafrost that there was a clutch. Maybe the last living clutch. Yeah. Okay. What I'm just trying to get at is is whether whether or not this this thing is cursed and leading you in the wrong direction. Uh, considering how long we've been going, it could. Be. That sound like I'm I'm just listening to it. it. Like we like, would never find a, door, a doorway again. We would perish here on the ice. Sometimes the gap between doors is meter, and other times it's months of travel. Well. Be careful, whoever might attune to this. Uh, I don't think it's wise to remove the curse, but I just wanted you to know, Ishtar, in the event that something does happen, perhaps, perhaps there might be a situation where it might call upon that. I'll get it prepared. If ever, if ever, my brother, feel I am risk life in the same manner, I welcome them. To Be careful. With pleasure. It says Thorn. Thorn, Thorn seems really evil. Just, yeah, the dude, way he yeah I just the way you're talking. I can, I can, uh, he, he just, just has like a, a villainous sort of uh, presence about him. Which, which color dragon is he? He's red. He's okay. the red one. Alright, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Alright. All but the group, uh, they've started to separate and they're, they're pulling out tents. Seems to be a, a lack of tent. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Uh, Aurora, you can add a two-person tent to your inventory. That would have been in his uh, his bag of holding. Thank you. So you now have a two-person tent. So you can have the third layer of protection. Where, underneath where are we? I am shack. so... I am a mate of cool. Yeah, I will construct a frack shack. <laughs> with, right. with, with, uh, with full... With full internal heating, but with a bubble, <laughs> a frack shack, with a toasty, with a toasty three, bubble. Four, ten minutes, the four of you inside of it. I let's move these guys over here. Red. These guys are dead. He did save, which. I'll be honest, wasn't my intent. <laughs> I didn't expect you to. But, uh, yeah, you guys. You guys meet up in your Thrax Shack, your warm bubble. That's right, he'll uh, meet a demise in a different way. <laughs> uh, Aurora, do you want to, uh... You want to make your tent inside the bubble? I don't want to make my tent inside the bubble. I don't we think can't so. fit a tent in the bubble. You can't have a shack I don't and a think, bubble I said I tent. don't think so. Oh, yeah, okay. I think you I'm can. I'm just, I, I see you over there <laughs> thinking about it. You're like, I, you had I, your hand. I, you can. I, oh, no, I'm not going to. Amelia, what do you have to do, Amelia? You it's been not, very quiet. It, it, it's I not like the, the bubble. bubble would destroy it, Amelia, right? I want the bubble. Bubble's warm. 
Amelia, are you okay? You've been so quiet. Yep, Amelia. We'll put a stone platform so we don't sink into okay. the ice. And the okay, bubble. Where's the stone coming from? Okay, where's the stone coming from? You're right. There's not much stone out here on the Fuck. ice. So there's no stone. Yeah, just bubble. Gonna... No yeah, stone. just no, no shack around it this time. Just the the bubble. Which uh, you know what? We'll we'll say you color uh, you color the outside a sort of sand color. You know, to as if Absolutely. there's stone around it. Thank right? you. Yeah. Camo sand sand camo. <laughs> it doesn't blend in here at all. <laughs> yeah, right? yeah, but, but I, in my mind it does. I just imagine myself back at the dunes. <laughs> Eating pounds of tuna, preparing. Okay. All right. And uh, your group um, starts to rest. Any watches that you guys want to do? You only need two people to watch, and then Ishtar handles the second half. I'll watch the first one. I'll watch. I just don't have any intent to do anything with the watch. Okay. Anti-watcher. All right, Miss Rack. You um, you uh, you watch as the rest go to bed. You watch as Ishtar enters his trance. Um, you can see outside because there's no thrash sack around you. The the many tents set up, and uh, not in a tent, just uh, hands bound to a pit and drive deep into the ice. Sitting there is Captain Kane. Are they just standard tents. Yeah, they're two-person they look... tents. They're, 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 they they, they have older. any? They seem really old, archaic tents. They're not yeah, like they're, the they're modern, good tent. American they're, you know, they doesn't have the the nice sort of latches that go up the front to keep the things closed. It has a, a singular latch at the bottom. A, a real old design. Wind sort of whipping in. <laughs> Still well managed, though. If it's not broke. Don't fix it, right? Pretty good. If it ain't broke. Don't fix it. Yeah. And these dragonborn, they're just getting picked off one at a time. I better keep a steady watch with my perception. <laughs> Minus two. <laughs> Alright, uh yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna just watch over, see if I hear any skittering and clacking of remoras now that I have developed a phobia. <laughs> uh alright. Feel free to roll me a perception. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be great. That's that's a that's a yeah that's a two. Yeah, I'm just sort of. All right. Yeah. You're sitting there in your bubble. Uh, the magic sort of um, this effect emanating from you to the top of it, and then scattering its way down as if it's like a sprinkle of sands all along the outside. Uh, that's how I imagine your magic looks. You can you can change it however you feel. I, I take my finger and just just lick my finger. I wonder what those things tasted like. <laughs> you know, you imagine they probably had a nice chunk of meat in them somewhere. I'd um, probably eat a whole or more ass. But train. Yeah, your invite, your your rest passes uneventfully. It doesn't seem like they they come wretched. They don't, they don't come further in. I lose focus so much that I'm ten minutes late to wake up the next watch. Oh my! Exhaustion. I'm kidding. No, no, you're yeah. fine. Okay. Uh, Amelia, you are awoken. By Thrak at the two hour mark. <coughs> hey, Amelia. Get. Wakey, wakey. I'm awake. It's cold. Nothing at yet. Well, no, actually, it's. No, nice the ground is really cold. Well, I can't really fix that. It's ice. I. I, no, I, I no, only... it's very, very much love. The magic doesn't do anything. Okay. Very, I do not have this argument right now. Okay, it, it does a lot, it just doesn't do everything. Yeah, okay. basically it doesn't do anything. <laughs> give me oh. your give me give me your dress. I'm wearing it. Uh, yeah, give, give me, me the give me the stain on the dress. You... It's right here. Look right there. I cast super <laughs> prestidigitation on it. <laughs> the stain <laughs> vanishes. <laughs> the dress. Clean. The dress has been ruined. You destroyed <laughs> it. Oh no. <laughs> I I like to think all the grunting and movement like there's like you know a hundred magical effects all hitting the dress at once and then when it dissipates it's just the stain is removed. <laughs> there, there. You know what? Okay. Magic can do. I take one off thing. three pairs of gloves as my hands are extremely sweaty. In this bubble. 
<laughs> watch, watch my gloves. <laughs> okay. I'm going to bed now. All right. You see much the same. They have these uh, these sort of torches, they, these long torches driven into the ice just a bit to keep their area lit up. And um, you can see the tents. You can see the, the captain uh, against the wall. And um, you can roll me a perception. So what you want to do is look around. Okay. Perception. Oh, 18. Very good. Um, yeah, like... More, more inclined. You, you actually looking about. You can see that there's none of those uh, slight digs into the the ice that the Ramora were leaving. That they, they do not come this way towards the temple. That they, you, you can oh see god, the, they're see, scared of the temple. <laughs> you can see the un, like the unearthed ice around, like uh, you know, hundreds of feet behind you. You can see it just sort of silhouetted on the horizon in the darkness, and it does form like a rake. It looks like, but it yeah, it doesn't come inward at all. We're safe. <laughs> yeah, aside from that though, um, the snoring of Thrak is loud. The snoring of Aurora. Ever since Aurora got burned, she snores way louder. No, I don't. Yeah, you know she can't tell if she does because she's know, sleeping. All the hair like, got burned no. besides the mustache hair. I don't know why that kept on her upper lip. Everyone oh my god. I just don't- I don't snore, I just breathe heavy. Oh. <laughs> 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 I get the apnea checked out, dude. Yeah. But yeah, everybody yeah. literally is like, Karen, you, you slightly snore. I refuse As to believe it. Your watch carries on, you can see the, the slight shimmer of the dome around you, the sort of comforting magic. Um, eventually, when you're yawning, you're tired, uh, Ishtar, uh, his eyes would suddenly open back up. He would awaken from his trance. No, sorry. Salvation, good. I'm going to bed now that you're awake. Oh, oh. that's a good one. I'm gonna add that to the, you know, where's my Solari token? We're gonna, we're gonna add underneath her. <laughs> Solari salvation. As I was just a fresh saying, there we go. Solari. Alright. Oh, you gotta watch the axe gloves. All six of them. They're, they're sort of sprawled out like a weird fan pattern, <laughs> as if you can no, watch I each was, individual I actually was one. Combine them into oh. a, 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 a mitten glove man. Oh, all right. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah, Ishtar. As your eyes open and you're alerted that you need to watch the gloves, your your eyes move around the dome until you see this weird, somehow upright standing mitten man. <laughs> probably from the just how cold it is, like with the ice. Maybe some ice put inside of it that would ang the later, later, man? later anger yes. threat. Uh, yep. Don't take his leg. You know the mitten man? I do. I made him. <laughs> oh. Run, 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 run as fast as the... you can. You can't warm your hands. I'm the mitten man. I... <sighs> All right. Ishtar. I'll be right back before we describe this. I gotta be right back. Ishtar, your watch begins, and as as stated before, um, you can see the tents of the other dragonborn. The the braziers are sort of dying down, uh, sparsely illuminating <laughs> illuminating that area. You can see the captain's head is slumped over. He seems to be sleeping from his bound state. And is uh, is there anything you want to do during your watch? It will be funny. Okay. Um, I'm going to uh, leave. I'm going to go walk over to the captain. Alright. Are you being quiet about it? No. Or are you just strutting over? Strutting over. Okay. You, um, you approach the captain who... Um, he doesn't tilt his head up to look at you, but his eyes do open as you approach, as if his sleep was very shallow. And, uh, his eyes are looking up at you, despite his head being downward. I, uh, reach into my... my bag. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And I pull out my extra set of clothing. And I place it on him. You, you, you know, like, with care. You don't just toss it over his face, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. Alright. You're making a mistake siding with them. Am I? How come? They're mad at me. Sacrificing our own. Not for sacrificing anyone. If another situation arises, they would put you on that block. He nods. Most likely. We could depart now. Get four hours on them. I can lead you there. Uh, I want to... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, yeah. Mm-hmm. Full of all spells this. Yeah, I would like to detect magic. Instantly? Or can you ritual? Yes. You... No, nope. okay. instantly. Alright. Um, detecting magic, um, his armor, ha- like I said, he has this sort of temporal wobbling around him, as if he's here but not here hard to say but he, he does seem to have magical armor his weapons seem to be magic uh there isn't any magic about his mind though nor his eyes mm. i'll cast remove curse on him you hold out your hand and it glows uh an illuminated sort of um what color? What color magic do you like? Teal. Teal, a uh, sort of tealish color that basks over him, and uh, as it dissipates, um, he he opens his eyes again, but he he just looks up at you. Um, his demeanor hasn't changed. Mm. If we Never leave now, expected. I can retrieve the compass, and we can have four hours ahead of them. I implore you, think about it. You do know the rest of my group will also not be up. You would have to push through the night. But I'm aware of something coming up that will slow them down. It will give us time to rest before the temple. Do you know about this? What is it? cannot say until I know you would side with me. If I side with you and I know you're lying, then it's nothing but a waste. You have nothing to bargain here. And I have everything to bargain with. No one knows how to read that comp. Which is why you're still alive and not dead. And a warning. The Endless Sea is a prison, not a maze. And a step into the wrong area can open up the gate to whatever is being hidden there. Mm -hmm. So I'll ask again. What do you know of that is going to happen? His head turns down slightly more. I need you to roll a persuasion. Okay. I'll get an advantage because I've only been nice to him, right? Smile. No. Aw. Damn it. That's a 19. That's pretty good. We're nearing one of those gates. Uh, 
Only I can avoid it. The compass would lead you right through it. Mm -hmm. So there's a gate that we'll run into. Only the compass will let you through the gate, is what you're saying. No. We'd have to avoid it. We'd have to go around. Be honest with me, Captain. If you know... Doing all this would lead the death of your people. You've already been here for a hundred years. You're telling me there's no other way around it. The cave, this gate. I Maybe told you things... I can get you around it. But and why only us? Years, this is what I'm asking. lied to you. They've all lied to you. Myself included. We didn't run at the start of the Dragon's Empire. We ran at its collapse. They don't care about you. And you do? I've learned that this is not our world anymore. I simply wish to give my line a chance. What makes the compass so special? When we looked on it, it's nothing but a normal compass. Describe what you see. I cannot tell you how the compass works. He turns his head away. I'm not saying how the compass works. I'm just saying what you see out of this compass. I see what you see. The only difference is if I put a paper before you and I write in a language you don't understand, all you see is random symbol. I can just read the language. I don't know what's in that prison, but they will walk right into it. Even if you warn them, I will not speak. I will only guide us around. If we leave now, just us. As a captain, from leader to leader. <laughs> Why you laugh, man? What's so funny? <laughs> nothing, nothing. Why is this end need to be sacrificed of your people? Do you not care for them anymore? The options were you or them. We couldn't fight our way through. Remoraz don't sleep at night. And the longer we were in there, the more would show up. Five patrolled that entrance. But I could tell there was another 20 in the area. They would have slaughtered everyone. He nods his head, gets up, walks away. He doesn't yell at you or anything, he just... 
just sits there. It's all he can do. I want on my way back. I also I, I made a mistake by saying his armor and weapon were magical because he wouldn't have his weapons on him, but his armor would still be. They didn't derobe him, but they definitely took his weapons. Mm -hmm. I want all the way. Yep. Make my way in. Mm -hmm. I uh I tap on Thrax's shoulder. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, I got an interesting uh, proposition. What's the proposition? Are you, are you, how many fingers am I holding? Uh, you have fingers? Why aren't you wearing gloves? Okay, he's, he's still tired. Uh, I tap him on the shoulder again. Yeah. Alright, I need you to set up. <laughs> I'm up. Okay. I, I think I'm up. What's two my, plus two? Is my watch? Yes. Okay. Be your second two, watch. Two, two plus two? That's, yes. um... Uh, oh, I'm not good at math. Alrighty. Let's see. What do you want? Hold on. Give me a second. Um, okay. It's four, brother! Oh! <laughs> Rock yourself. It's four o'clock. What are you waking me up for? I was answering the damn question. Oh, okay, sorry. That's four o'clock in the morning. I... No! <laughs> Rock seems mad. Okay. Alright. It's, it's four. Good. Yeah. The captain has a couple of wise words to say. Oh, I don't really? want to be the only one to consider this. I want to see your opinion. What do you say? We're going to run into a predicament that he can foretell. He says he can lead us around, but obviously what he wants is us to leave. We grab the compass, us and him, leave everyone else behind. Why? What's the predicament? He says a gate, something that's going to... Or I kind of guess, um, kill more people. A gate? Yes. So something is coming through the gate? No, we're going to the gate. And if it's investigated, it will... Oh, like a literal to... gate? Maybe, I don't know. He's being cryptic in his words. Let me go and... talk to him. Alright. That will make the bubble disappear. Fuck. Carry him to me. I think if I will remove him, everyone will get very upset. Okay, shit. I don't want to play go between games of telephone or sorry, tele tell what what would be the equivalent of telephone? Games of Ga messenger spell. Yeah, games of <laughs> messenger spell are always unpredictable. You know how many times I said I love you to Loki, I didn't really mean it. Uh shit. Thousand trillion miles away, Loki gets sad because he can feel that that loves you went meant nothing. Yeah, this game's a messaging. Okay. Anyways, um, all right. Well, uh, he's being cryptic. So you want to accept a potentially a potentially cursed individual connected to. I a removed company. curse from him. I detect magic. No, the, yeah, but you, you can't remove curse on him. You have to remove curse on the compass. The compass is cursed. He's cursed to the compass. So you can't you can't cast it on him. You have to cast on the compass. That breaks But the if curse. the curse is affecting him, it would be removed from there versus I could Is that how it works? That's what Rock, would, that how it works. Expect it to work. You don't deal with curses, right, Rock? And that's below us. Brother. What? Sorry. I could, sorry. I could curse an entire generation. Brother. Sorry. Sorry, Rock. I, 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 sorry. I know. I I apologize for even asking. Uh, no, I, I, I have a feeling it's the compass that's cursed. I think he's attached to it, right? So he wants the compass back. That's... That's his goal. I don't think he can. He's already proven that he'll just throw people into the maw of the abyss, as long as they just don't 
they, they clearly had a, a history of them wanting the compass, right? And 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 what we should probably investigate is the people that he threw to the to the Remoras. Probably were the, maybe you should talk with the person that we saved, see if they he's done anything to them. Remove curse on compass. Okay. No, 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 no! Don't remove the curse on the compass. Like possibly kill them all right but maybe you should get more information from the person who he threw into the abyss that i saved while you ran i'm going back to bed remove cross on compass god okay you didn't listen to anything i said by the way you might want to talk to cersei while you're talking about all these messages in the head thing see if they're okay maybe possibly i don't know this should I, be fine Okay, we'll we'll talk as a group tomorrow. I can't really, you know, you know me with a history of making decisions without the party. You know the whole uh, uh, Irish thing. Uh, I can't say his name out loud. I lose loud. a bubble. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Thank you. Going back to bed. I look for the compass. All right, he would look for the compass. Here, you're just gonna walk from tent to tent. Yes. All right, you you begin to, and do you want to do this quietly? Sure. Do you have, what type of armor do you wear? You're wearing studded leather, right? You're good. Yep, leather. All right. Well, is that the total? No, you, you, okay, roll stealth. Okay. Yeah. I'm loud as fuck. Alright, you begin to quietly move across the the snow. Uh, looking in the first tent, you would see uh, Mr. Thorin and Mr. Yorick uh, both sleeping currently. Uh, next tent, you would find uh, Rinya and Valric. Um, they're both sleeping. As you'd walk past the, the one over here, you would find, uh, Thorin is currently curled up alone in a tent sleeping. And the you hell? know that they do do watches. Mm -hmm. So th that would mean that currently the people with the compass would be the ones doing the watch. Okay. Do I do I meet eyes? Is he is he up? Or are you gonna head to their tent? Yeah, because you have to you have to like open their tent. Yes. All right, you walk to their tent and open it, and um, the two of them turn their head to you. It's um, it's the white dragonborn who hasn't spoken very much, and Balor. All right, my what rest has been. Here? My rest has been completed. I was able to swap out my spells. I would like to remove curse on that compass if it is cursed. Your friend, your friend warned the other day that it could have dire consequences. But if it's cursed and it's under your control, then you're cursed then afterwards. But if you remove the curse and its effect stops working, then we'd be lost here. It took so, several decades before anyone was affected by it. Well, do you know if it was the compass or was it the... ...circumstances? No one knows. We can't be sure the compass was kept on one's possession for the time. But I can't risk it losing its effect. But if you can't read it, how do we know the captain's not going to just lead us to death? He won't be leading us. It points in the direction we need to go still. The last desire from it. And if we get there and it doesn't work, or we are led to the wrong place? Then I'll let you remove curse from it. But until then, I can't risk it. He nods. 
I was told to ask this question. Maybe you know this because you've been around longer. The people that were the torchbearer when we went into the cave. Did they ever bring up the notion of taking the compass from the captain? Or stood against the captain in any ways? You don't follow someone for a hundred years without taking up that notion once or twice. Well, of course, the all of us were... had our doubt. But no, I was the one who handed out the torches. He handed me five and I handed them to people to light. Chose at random. I chose those who I knew could defend our guards. Our flanks. The ones that were lost. And I bear responsibility in some regard. Nicole looks at him, like, up and down. Does his demeanor change from my questioning? Um, well, he definitely got sadder at that last remark. He, it is clear he feels guilt because, I, unknown to him, he basically handed those people their tickets to being attacked and killed. So yeah, that makes him sad. He he does seem to have genuine care for these other people. Unless, you know, he's seeming. Would you like to incite him? Yes, please. Okay. Uh, it's a uh, 22. 22. That seems genuine. Baylor, you're getting... He reminds you of Knight. He, he feels... He feels like an honor-bound person. You, you, you can't... Like, even back when he stood up to the captain, there was no joy in that. There was no, like, happiness in being the one in charge, no. It was sadness that drove him to that point. But he, you, he's only shown that to him and his people. The most you've gotten for your people is that he at least respected when Aurora got between them, not to push her aside. So, how many years? One. You've stated you've been on this adventure for hundred years. Right. Yes, during the the um time when the dragons took over, the fall of my own. Some hundred and fifty years. Hmm. You all started with fifty people? There were fifty of us. When's the last time you've lost a group of people besides this moment? Months ago. Most were lost in the initial hours when we didn't know how to read the compass. When we were blindly pushing forward. As stated, what he learned wasn't gifted with him with the compass, it was through trial. I can learn to read it given time. There was also a some of us who just decided to stay. We've been teleported randomly from place to place. Sometimes we find paradise. And it will get weary. How long can you drive yourself to one goal before you just give up? Before you find something that brings you happiness, stick with it. you make that statement it sounds like the compass is what's the key piece that keeps you in this forever loop it's what allows us to navigate it's no different than a map
if we desired to find the eggs, it would point the direction. We desire to find dragon. And it doesn't work so nebulously as to say any dragon have to find ones that we are aware of. But all we know is gone. Our world crumbled long ago. Hmm. We are ghost chasing goat. But if we can fix it, it would mean salvation for all the people who were mutated by this curse. Alrighty. I'll also say if you're keeping watch, I think sitting in a tent would be best to keep watch, but you do you. I had become distracted. <laughs> the other dragon chuckles at that remark. <laughs> um, but you're right. And uh, he's going to crawl, like, you know, crouch out from under the tent and stand up. Great. And uh, he exits the sun? Yeah, he's outside of the tent now. Okay. And the tent's closed? Yeah, sure. And uh, he, he's walking somewhere? No, he's just sort of standing guard now in a, a place where he can see everything. I, uh, stand next to him. Sure. Are, are we in view of the captain? Yeah, yeah, he, he... In, he positions himself so he can see everything. Because, right. like you said, it's not good to guard from inside a tent. He was just I'm enjoying gonna, the warmth. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have my back towards the, uh, the captain. But I'm looking this way. As he's looking this way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Take this as much as you'd like. Take it with a grain of salt. Shit, have the whole barrel. Captain says that there's a um, big predicament we're going to be running into. That, um,. It wasn't fully stated that people will die for it. But it'll be an obstacle in our way that only he knows around. He also stated none of you will believe what I say. Something about a gate. He also, uh... He also gave an offer that if we were to take the compass and leave with him and us, he would lead us to the end and leave you guys behind. But there's something about a gate. You see, he gulps. And his expression becomes scared. You know something? We've encountered the gate before. They... They're horrifying. The creatures within are... Not of this world. Something else. How did you get out of it last time? He managed to slay the creature, but it... It cost us a lot. Like I said, oh. most of our losses were in the early years. Somehow he learned to read where they were after that. A change in the compass that he's aware of. But only he would know. He uh, reaches in under his armor and pulls out the compass and looks at it. 
if he was aware we were approaching one, then it's already changed. We need to study this. After. Ugh. I don't know how much time there's left until this gate appears. But, um... How many people were... How many people strong were you when the gate appeared? We were still a full 50. Mm. We lost maybe a dozen. Was it just a single creature or was it many? It was a single creature, but it did not feel alone. Take that information as you will. His, uh, his lips sort of quiver in a way, and you can see he's gritting his teeth, staring at this compass, and then looking towards the captain. I don't want to be mean when I say this. But sacrifices do have to be made at times. The decision's always rough. Some for the few, for the rest of the many. Start making my way to the tent. Alright. You return to the tent. Or the, 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 the dome. Thunderdome. Uh, Thrak is probably back asleep at this point. Yep. Um, if I... I don't know if I'm correct about uh, asking this, uh, but when I go into the dome, they can't see into can't the dome, see, but nope. I can see out. Yep, you can see out of it. Uh, I would like to observe what he does afterwards. Once I get into the dome, I'm gonna turn and watch him. Alright. You would watch as... For maybe 10 minutes, he just sort of paces back and forth. And uh, the captain seems to be awake and aware of this. He's watching through it. But eventually, he would approach the captain. Then you would watch him just start to savagely beat the captain after about a five, after two minutes of question. Just a hit, a strike back and forth holding the compass out, pointing at it. They're yelling at each other. You can't discern their words. But whatever the captain What's says in the box? isn't to his liking, and the captain gets hit again. And again. And um, again. I would like to, if you don't mind, from a distance, mm -hmm. um, I would like to medicine check and uh, see... And make sure this individual doesn't, um, perish. We're on the verge of dying from this. Okay. Sure, beating. you can roll a medicine. Uh, right. The beating is actively happening, though, so it's just getting worse from whatever you discover. Ooh, 17. Pretty good. A 17. These hits are bruising his face um busting his lip there are cuts from some of the hits these are not strikes that are done with enough care as to intentionally not be fatal if the captain was a less resilient person uh Baylor probably would have killed him with a hit by now he is just hitting him back and forth essentially it, it, oh. it is torture he is trying to get information out of him. I'll, uh, I'll leave the dome and make my way over to the side of the tent. Quietly? No. As you're arriving, uh, Baylor is panting because, you know, it, it does take it out of him to swing into this guy. You would have us all die. 
You know the gate. Free me. And I'll lead you there. With the compass in my possession. Free me. Arrogant. And he hits him again. And then he draws his sword. And points it at his chest. And pokes just enough so that it presses between two scales and blood starts to trickle down. But he's not stabbing through him. He's just he's just pierced him a little bit. He's no good to you if he's dead. He's no good to me alive either. But he's the only one that's able to read it. He would just as soon walk us into the gate. And then that would be the end of his life as well. There's no winning this situation. You're damned no. if you do, damned if you don't. Believe him or don't believe him. He's not gonna speak of the word. So it's either left to you to learn it. Or someone else to. Either way, we don't need him! You could try to change his mind. Yes. Change my mind, Baylor. Or scramble it with your sword. Just be quick about it. Your beatings dull me. And not just my senses. Bore me. He gets struck across the other way for saying that. Keeping him here is... There was a punishment in killing him. <laughs> Do you know what color dragons took over Rune Moros 200 years ago? It was red. Red dragons claim the island of Runemara. You know which ones lived with them? Brass. He, he smiles up at uh, Baylor. Brass and copper. Those were the tyrants of Rune Maros. How many drow did you kill during your occupation there, Baylor? You were willing to risk other well, doesn't mean anything to you. You were one yourself, weren't you? What does it matter? He looks to you when he says, what does it matter? As if seeing how you're feeling about that. He shows no emotion. It matters. And why lie to them anymore? Tell him the truth. I already did. He knows. He knows we had sided with the dragons. And that our journey began at their fall. No more tricking the mortals. Yet he still told me your plan. He's made his choice, Kate. But he did help me realize. Keeping you alive or killing you, either choice is a damned if we do. 
but at least I know if I kill you, I can't. You can't risk any more. Then do it, Palo. Just get it over. Why? Why do you want me to? End of suffering is what he's probably waiting for. I could suffer a thousand more lifetimes. This pain means... I just know he's made up his mind. And I'm waiting for him to just fucking get over. Get it over with. The White Dragon. That's where we're heading. And I was like them. I lived with the White Dragon. Cyrax, the tyrant that never was. There's the dragon we're heading towards. And famously, Cyrax only sired a single brood. Near the end of his time. Three eggs. Three eggs frozen in permafrost. Waiting for a better era. Go on, Baylor. Let's see how you do keeping that information from them. The only other one who would know is your lover. I'm sure you... Kel... Keldor? Who else will you choose then? Will you leave it to us? How many more dragons? Drow, I... And as he goes to speak to you, there's a sudden swift motion of the sword, and you watch his head tumble back across the snow. Which one? Baylor just killed Kane. How could it be the other one? He's tied. I, I just want to make sure. Hold on, you never know. It's fucking magic. Baylor then sheaths his sword. Uh, grips the breastplate of uh, of Kane and uh, undoes two latches and removes it from it. We travel in the morning. We're almost there. You can see the toppled over body of Kane on its side there. What do you do, Ishtar? This is quite the issue. I'll, uh, I'll kneel down, do a prayer for the individual. <laughs> All right. Make my way back. Mm -hmm. We walk through the dome. What do you want to do for the rest of your watch? It's a few hours before sunrise, before the dome fades. I'll do a prayer. Relax a little bit. And, uh, thinking about how am I gonna explain this to the party. <laughs> That's a great thing. You have, uh, you got three hours to collect your thoughts. In game, out of game, you have mere second. <laughs> um, as time slowly passes, um, the Dragonborn, being these sort of military figures, they they wake up a bit earlier. Uh, Baylor is already outside of his tent, waiting to see them. Um, you can hear some distant chatter. They're they're not yelling, but you know it's very clear they're discussing what they're waking up to. And about an hour after that, the dome dissipates, 
and everyone's hit with that cold gust of breeze. <laughs> oh! Five more minutes! There's no dome! Oh, I, uh... I also forgot something. Yeah, what? What's that? I'll get my clothes back. <laughs> of course! Thank you. They are covered in blood. Alright. I know who to talk to is fine. Yeah, there, there's someone who's so powerful with magic he can clean clothing. <laughs> you know, not everyone can clean clothing with magic. Not everyone. Alright. I, I don't imagine you put the you put that back on more so that you're just holding it. Yeah. All right. Uh, yep. So everyone starts to wake up. Thrak asks for five more minutes. Or Amelia informs him that, that the cold <sighs> wind isn't gonna wait for him. Oh, good morning, everyone. I had this weird dream last night that Nicole. We have a big me. problem. What happened? Oh. What is? Did you, you lose the glove, man? <laughs> the glove man has oh toppled over. Oh my god! I went over to my gloves. When the, when the <laughs> snow, when the breeze hit it in the morning, it fell over. So now no! it's just laying in the snow as a downed glove man. They're cold. They're filled with snow. I didn't fill it with snow. I used tension. <laughs> Ishtar, did you fill it with snow? Why would you do that to Throck? I wasn't even in the bubble most of the day. Well. You weren't watching? Remember. None of us were I... in the bubble during the day. We were sleeping at night. Uh, I don't think we should have any conversation about this. We can talk about that later. Uh, the captain's what dead. What was your dream about? You can clean my... The captain's uh, dead? Oh, Jesus. Oh, uh, Jesus. McCall is holding his, his, his clothing that's all bloodied. Probably makes frostbite. It it's probably frostbite. That gets Bloody everybody. Jesus. Ishtar? Did you kill the, the captain? Did you kill the captain? Ishtar. Yes, I walked over there and killed him. No, I didn't kill him. I don't believe him. I don't him. <laughs> You don't believe him? <laughs> you have blood hands! Bloody hands! You see him holding on a shirt that's full of blood, but you can clearly see the stuff that he's wearing. His armor he's wearing is clean! Mm, I saw you were. Yeah, you must have been wearing that when you killed him. <laughs> you <took it> off. <laughs> I, I would have taken off all my armor and put on so my what? What? what you're saying is the only person who can read this compass is dead. Yep. Awful. Um... Basically, what ended up happening was blah. Are you serious? Oh my gosh. You don't feel a little bit of responsibility for this? It's not my decision. Oh my god, then how the I hell are I asked you read very this? politely to just wait until the party was up and until we can discuss your plans. I thought it was actually a dream. The plans were he said he was going to have us leave that moment. By the time we wake up, everyone else would have been up as well. Well, did you talk to the dragon that I saved to see if he was corrupted, or...? Balor said that he was the one that was giving out the torches, not the captain. The captain gave the torches to Balor. Balor is the one that gave it out, so that information wouldn't even done anything. Balor, the one with the compass? Yes, had given out the torches when the so captain he was had the compass. He too? But did so, the captain not respond to the accusations? Yes. But the captain clearly knew what was happening. Why? Well, he so knew that they you... didn't sleep that night. It's like a dragonborn murder mystery. I know who did the murder. Oh. <laughs> you watched who did it? The murder? Well, it was more of I blinked twice and then his head was on the floor. Oh, well, this is a oh. murder mystery, then. Oh, my God. We have to no. collect clues. Was it with a candlestick? No, it's not. Was, or was no it with the guy? No my, my, the most important thing is about this gate that we'll eventually walk into. Well, I guess we'll never know what the gate is because, you know, the one person Balor who knew knows about what the it gate is, is. What is the gate? You guys really suck at this understanding of the blah. Well, uh, the, the blah... has a creature 
in it that is not from this plane. It took 50 of them to just put it back, and a dozen of them died. Well, that's a problem. Yes, it is. And the only one that could lead us out of it is no longer here. But on the off other chance, no, why just the captain stop could have... Because the off other chance is the captain could have just led us into the gate anyways. The offer was for us to leave instantly at that night with the captain. Okay. So what is our what is our options now? Really wish and hope that one of them can read the compass correctly. Okay, that's a problem. Yes. Maybe we don't even need the compass. Maybe only they need the compass because they were in the endless seas. And we didn't. And we came here from Zalari. They've also All right. That's it. it. They've I'm also I'm tired of this. Okay. I, I, I go over to the Dragonborns. Um, yeah. As he's leaving, um, they have also have not been here for a hundred years. They've lied about that. What? Well? Um, it was stated, if I'm correct, uh, maybe I'm wrong, um, they left after the downfall of the dragons? That was that correct, Fox? Yeah, their original story was over 170 Jeez. years ago, when yeah. the dragons first took over. But the captain said that that's a lie, they left when the dragons fell. When the horn was blown is when they left. And that they've been lying to you because morals, like, realistically should never side with these people who are with the dragons. They were subjugators. Um, and then, during the final confrontation, Baylor didn't deny that. Mm -hmm. And then swiftly killed him. Okay. And then killed him. Okay. Alright, let's 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 go over to the dragon. Come on, everybody. We got some talking to do. This is gonna end really well. It's gonna end exactly how I expected it to end. Why is this Ramora is eating a gummy bear? That is actually Thrak. Why is it it's so a, tiny? Why is it a why is it a sour gummy bear? A really sour gummy bear. It's and it's really old. green. Though. Really old too. That's my green robes, and if you don't remember, I look fantastic in them. <laughs> <laughs> the snake robes. The green snake robes. Are, are you not wearing the- who's wearing the crown? Who's wearing the snake crown? That was Ishtar. Could be any one of us. <laughs> Ishtar can talk to snakes. Right. Snakes. Go over here. As oh. you approach, uh, they are having a discussion. Um, it's in the latter half because they wake up an hour earlier than you and just have light conversation. 50 of you, huh? I burst into this. Kid. Oh, fuck. They're not in the tent, they're outside. I burst into the outside. Yeah, in between the tents. You burst between the tents. Oh. How do you start with 50 of you and end up with you? You guys are all just killing each other. Slowly by slowly, you're all just taking each other out. <laughs> A bunch of them are looking at you like, what? <laughs> like, yeah. a lot of them are really confused. Ah, you guys are leading each other into traps. Right? It's all because of that. That cut pointed over to the compass. What? Yeah. You guys, you, 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 look at you. Look at look who's left here. Every one of you. Can you even trust any of you? Do, like, do you trust anyone here? Oh, no, you're going to need to slow it down. <laughs> uh, Brynjar Bryn yeah. says. <laughs> you, you're starting off real real strong, like, but I feel like you're missing the point, fellas. I, I, you I'm done not... spat at the spittoon and you spat on my boo. All right? He so does that a lot. Why don't, you, why don't you, know, you just start from the beginning? You, you well, have issue with there being okay. 50 of us. Yes. At one point. Yes, you have 50. We had 50. And right. you're dwindling. 
Yeah, that that's, that tends to happen. And now after your captain all. killed five of you yesterday, knowing farewell that five would die. Yeah, fellow, and that that's why we we overthrew him. Right. All right. Then you then he's the only one that could read the compass. He says, and you you cut off his head in the night. We just got done talking about that, partner. No need to spread. It's he not wasn't gonna, It's like why are you gonna... all killing each other? Can you stop killing each other? I know you've only known us for about two days. But yeah, and so many people I promise died. you, most of the losses ain't been to each other. Okay. The <laughs> gate, it's hard to the believe gate that. Took over, the gate took a dozen of us. Another dozen stayed back on Paradise Island. Fucking they're the lucky ones. And that's already 24 people down. That's half our people from two events. We ain't been killing one another. Oh. Okay. Let me backtrack a little bit. You killing each other. You killed a, that. You killed that man last night. Who cut his head off? You, Baylor, the one with the compass. I cut his head off. Yeah. Why? Your friend made it clear. Uh, with him or without him, we were damned either way. I made sure that he could no longer threaten us. Okay, and have you been spending the night, the rest of the night, with that compass? No. Where is it? Uh, the white dragonborn hold it up. I didn't trust myself with it afterwards, and departed it to him. Okay. I wish I was more wise, where I can insight check these. You can insight. <laughs> I'm going to insight check. All right, insight it. Can I help him? You can roll your own. Oh, okay, I'll roll my own. Yeah, good. Roll your own, please. Right, Minus one. One. Uh, one on that insight. All right, that's, that's pretty decent. Good. Um, that's it's decent. A, it's a twenty on natural. It that does seem he he is again being honest with you about this. He did. Ha it does seem like he handed it over right away. Though his choice, with what you saw, Ishtar, his choice probably isn't entirely altruistic. He, it, this is probably just who he trusts the most, considering they they seem to have a relationship. Mm -hmm. I wasn't beyond me that my actions could have been spurred on by the compass, but your friend stated it clearly. It was a damned if I do, damned if I don't. And the captain had killed five of them. Well, well, now we're four. really damned. Because uh, uh, we're going to run directly into a gate. He says there's going to be some sort of gate. I didn't even know what the gate is. You're telling me it's a giant creature. It's, uh, creature? it's just an area. The, all around you, what you see is different than what we see. Potentially, it's hard to tell, fella. But... These aren't like cells, you know, we don't get to see them. There's these gaps, these holes in reality in the endless sea. And, well, can I make like an Arcana them. check? Is he talking about like the ethereal realm or something like that? It's like, it, you, uh, with, yeah, without even making a check, it, it does seem like this is some planar shit, which shouldn't be allowed on this plane because of uh, Paladrax's hatred. But this does seem like, like for some reason within the endless sea, there's these points where the planes are, are not so divided, is what you're gathering, and that these gates, as they have learned to call them, are gaps in the planes where powerful creatures can come through, but probably need something on this side. And. I mean, what are your plans now? What do you plan to do without a without a navigator? He he raises his finger, and he points north uh, northeast. We know the temple is that direction. Whatever's in this gate, we're going to have to face.
It's like, I know you guys for very little time, but... You are a dysfunctional group, I tell you what. There are a lot of heroes, but... I mean... Listen, partner. We were just 50 souls of kindred man. They're gonna like... A hundred and some odd years of travel and... Things get a bit messy. You're telling me. It's, it's just, I, I, we have our group that we've been traveling with, you understand? And and I don't want us get led into any traps. I want things to be transparent, and transparency are not really, like, working out here if people are just getting their heads cut off in their sleep. You under, You have to understand that. I understand your hesitancy, Mr. Thrak. But from the sound of it, it was your friend who put him in that situation who let him. Uh, uh, yeah, Don't well, put the blame that, on is... me when it was clearly stated and was clearly known. Your Balor is easily... Hot-headed, as the captain was spewing out everything he can to get out of the situation. The captain even talked about how Balor's kin were the reason why Rudmaros was attacked. Obviously, in situations like this, keeping a level head is needed, and we can both agree, Balor, that even-headed was not there. Yeah, it was beheaded. My thing... Your tune has changed from last night. My tune doesn't truly change. It did! You had told me I was damned if I do, damned if I don't, and you sat there and watched. You said nothing as he spoke of your ancestors, nor what we had done. You had no input other than to tell me that him living or him dying didn't matter then. My statement of keeping him alive will keep him in torture. Killing him now would release him from this torture. And he agreed and so said then he was able to go on for many years. Your difference isn't years. that he's dead or alive. It's that we didn't torture him long enough. My saying was it wasn't my decision. He's your kin, not I mine. made the decision. And that's fine. But I'm saying you had no word then. And yet now, when you're together, you march forward as some sort of moral high ground. At the end of the day, what matters most now is we're heading the same direction. We have the same end point. There's no moral You can put miles ground. between us if you'd like. Maybe it's the not miles open between far. us. It's just, it, it, it's just his words before. And I mean, I, now I have to trust everything that Nicole says is true. It's if he says that you would lead us into any trap and put yourselves above us. Are we on equal footing here? Or are we fodder for you to reach your goals? You can answer that honestly, right? If there were a need to choose between me and the people that I have been journeying with for 170 years, or you, who I've met two days ago, I would choose them. And I don't expect question. anyone who would choose any other way. That's not honorable. <laughs> I look over at uh, Brindyar. Oh. It's literally what we would do, the exact same. It's two different parties joining together. Balor. He's right on my front. I owe him a life debt. So if I guess there needs to be a moment where it's choosing between him and me, I'll take his spot. And then we can call it even. It's not about calling it even. And then what's it about, friend? It's about trusting one another. It's a luxury that we are running thin on, but we trust each other. It's why I sided with Balor when he rose arms against the former captain. Unless you forget I stabbed him in the fucking back. Or that any of these other folks manacled him afterwards. 
The only one I didn't see moving was you, Yorick. To what end do you make this claim? Are you trying oh, to talk it, blame you. on me? Far be it from me to jump at the opportunity to quell another one of our numbers. The only thing of sense that's been stated since the beginning of this is that we're heading to the same destination. Your options now are to walk with us or put miles between us and start walking that way. All right. I would recommend the miles. What did you say? He said, I would recommend the miles person. Oh my god. This <laughs> fucking racist red dragon lord. Now that was Yorick. Oh. Where's the red? What's the red one look like over there? He's just crossed his arms, tapping okay. his fingers on his forearm, on his upper arm. All right. Well, I just. Sorry for busting up your little group party here, but I just want to be on equal footing here. The the deceptions have to sort of end, just a little bit. All right. right. One hundred and seventy-four yeah. years or whatever it is, the the baloney that you're doing there. Uh, you know, there's a lot of lies going on in a short amount of time. In the past, we were more open with what era we came from. And it got more of us killed. Well, you're safe with us. We don't, That's we don't not have... an assumption that is safe to make. It's easier just to tell people we left when the dragons took over. I understand. Did you Realistically, released? we'll be with you at most for a week. Then we'll never see each other again. Probably. By the time we get out of the sea, you'll have perished due to old age, I'm sure. Alright. Good talk. Just, just, just... Let's keep each other safe. How about that? On this journey. Finally, a little bit of agreeable... ...decision. Says the Red Dragon morning again in his villain own. <laughs> that damn throne. His name is Thorn. Hey, throne. It's Thorn. Alright. May I, uh. Alright, now make us some with food, Ishtar. Um, may I request a word with you, Balor? Um, Balor uh, steps through and passes by Thrak. I, uh... I whisper this. Did you tell them about the white dragon? Three eggs? The rest of your group? He, the, the pause is enough to know he, he must not have. I don't want to show more doubt between the rest of your group. It's not my place to stand on this. But if you don't, you're just as the captain. More advice that would put blades at our throat. You're not. You come forward and speak of my decision. But then every bit of counsel you give is something that would cause more death. What is it you want of me? One. One. My statement is not the reason why you've done it. Two, I'm giving you advice is what I see here. Three, it is your party, not mine. I've stated this from the beginning. Your 
interactions with your parties is yours. Same with ours. When they conflict with one another is when there needs to be a answer. There isn't one that is going to be needed. We know you kept information. All I'm saying. My standing on this hasn't changed. Our goals and your goals haven't changed. There is nothing to gain here. I just want to make sure nothing that I stay in the future will bring that doubt back. I've told my party everything. Had you kept your mouth shut, he would still be alive. The fact that you wipe your hands clean of it shows what kind of person you are, Drow. Remember, I was once you. I know how cutthroat we can be. And right now, every fiber of my being is saying the best thing I can do for my people would be to gut you here and now, kill you, and leave you all on the snow. So watch your mouth. Your I plans and advice. They make me sick. For they are cowards. You only speak now because you sit along the outside. You want me to tell them now? Like I said, you only speak now because you sit along the outside. Yeah, I bet I could fill a book with the secrets you keep from your own people. They basically know everything you that I, I know. I wonder if they would say the same. We press forward. I no longer desire your counsel. Pack up your tents. We move. And they, they start to pack up their stuff. It's a two-person tent. And I sleep alone. All right. What does the group want to do? Now that that's over. What's Amelia doing? Um, just watching, I guess. There really is. That's not. I'm. It's not a conversation I could have been in, man. Oh, but what are you doing? Just watching. I really don't know. Um, I don't imagine I actually followed you guys over there. So just, I mean, if Aurora's not over there, I would just been hanging out with Aurora, I guess. Hmm. Aurora's BRB. All right. So then, as they're packing up their tents, it doesn't sound like you guys intend to, you know, separate from them now. It's, you're not making any plans on that matter. Just a Can't biscuit. Leave. Where? I think it's Aurora as a as a cookie, but with too much hair. And not burdens. Well, um, I guess we're following these guys. These yeah, that seems to be the case. These, There's no no discussion death, about it on the contrary. These death laden people that are just running into Obstacle versus obstacle that's windling their numbers and slowly dwindling them down into Interesting All right, All right. so then within within a few minutes they've packed up their tents and put them away 
and uh, they they begin to march through the snow again. And march because at a fair distance, not a mile. Right. Yeah, no. You're not putting miles between them. Maybe just a dozen meters. Eh. Just make Welcome sure that... back. Yeah, make sure that bag isn't cursed. <laughs> uh, during that conversation, sweet, what, what, what were you and Amelia up to? Or did you, um, um would, you have, would you have been I, nearby? So I left the minute, uh, um... Thrak and Ishtar were talking about how these are two different parties. They did what they think was necessary, you know, whatever. Um, I would say during this time, I mean, they would have been playing games with, I mean, Aurora would have been playing games with Amelia. Mm -hmm. You know, it seemed like Ishtar and Thrak had a handle on this situation, so I was just playing with Amelia. Doing tic tac toe, hangman, you know, just to oh. pass the time. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, I don't know. You were there then when they recommended that if if there's issue, you guys should like just go left or right a mile or so, and then continue on your own, right? No, I, I left. I left before that. I left. Okay. That. Well, that that's what the Dragonborns recommended. That if oh, there God. was issue, that you guys should separate, but. Frack and Ishtar came back, and um, okay. there was no discussion about that. You guys just started following. We just again. don't know. Okay. <laughs> well, I oh, mean, yeah. it, that, that's not a. It's a. It's like a your choice thing. Like they're 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 just gonna press forward. They're basically saying like, you know, if if you have issue with this. <laughs> oh, gotcha. Um, do what you want, but this is how we're gonna do it. Ourselves. Yeah, like, gotcha. Like if you want to avoid this gate, like just travel a few miles away. The creature shouldn't I be near you leave. guys. Oh god, alright. Poor people. Okay. Jeez. Alright. But still the group presses forward behind them, uh, using their, their trails through the snow to walk. At some point during the day, a, a heavy blizzard sort of picks up and kicks up. The, the snows whip about. It's hard to press forward. But you do, and 24 hours, or not 24 hours, but, you know, like 16 marching hours pass. You guys progress forward for another day. You must be only a day or so away. There was no, no big calamity that happened. Um, the tents are starting to be built up in the evening. What do you guys want to do? Do you guys want to settle down near them again, or what uh there's no stone here so so down another bubble find a good spot Amelia tap on the ice uh here it's just as okay. hot as it is anywhere else okay well can you see through it no can you with your okay. special eye? Well, no, I'm just saying that, you know, if you can see through the ice, we can't build on that. You know, if that. there was a magic object within, like, 20 feet, you might be able to spot it. <laughs> I detect magic and see invisibility. Nothing in the ice, you're fine. <laughs> oh, my God. Seems like a great spot. Oh, my God, there's a big magical source under there. Where? No, sorry. There's not. There's nothing. It's just ice. All right. Ice fishing? Is it possible? No. No, no. The, the <laughs> ice here is very, like as thick as the glaciers. It's like oh. hundreds of feet down for water in some areas. Other areas, not so much, but um, the path you're on seems to be maybe it's potentially avoiding those areas. Oh. The, the, the path the Dragonborn are walking seems to be, ex like aside from the monster, it seems to be a path. Oh. Throw down bubble. Ten minutes. No bother. All right. Ten minutes. The bubble woofs into existence like a you. You grab like a handful of magical sand and you throw it up and poof, it, 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 it uh you know carpets over you like a big dome. Yeah. 
Yeah. And the night starts. The Dragonborn set up their tents. They keep their watches where it seems to be two, two, and then one, and then two. Thorin is the lonely one. Another Dragonborn loses his head. I'm gonna lose my shit. <laughs> um, you guys do your watches. You roll your your uh, stuff. I'm sure. No, no need for it. Time passes. Ishtar, you start your four-hour earlier day, and um, quiet. All right. Quiet. Till, you know, the usual things start happening. Start packing up earlier. Um, and um, the dome would eventually pop open. Or you would get the familiar of everyone waking up uncomfortable due to the ice, cold. All right. And I guess this is the day we're gonna we're gonna make it there. Should. Supposedly. All right, I'm gonna prepare some spells. That's that's a great choice. Continue. Sorry. <laughs> okay. I just wanted to make sure you had them. You know, who knows how quick we're that? Um, <laughs> within you know you know, you spend the early part of the day maybe consuming a ration. You know your first ration of the day. You drink water. You. You melt some ice with perhaps a, a cantrip of fire or something and collect new water out of the uh, formed pool, right? You know? Glacier water's clean water. And um, you begin to march forward again. Now, at any point, do any of you even try to speak to the other group ahead of you? Or do no. you just talk amongst yourselves? Just ourselves. That's always about Amelia. Amelia has no attack. So, all right. Kind of want to, but I don't know what the. I don't know what I would say. So then, for first hour of travel, it's quiet. You guys pat amongst yourselves about uh, probably just being a day away. So. You know, you you should be reaching the temple soon, and um, you know, you you have Aurora. The, you have no idea what's on the inside. How to even go about cleansing it? You just know this is a, uh, this was the You're temple, incredible. and your your father told you this place would would hopefully help you. You know, you know this is where the curse must have began. Aurora is very excited. She has a very excited look on her face, knowing that this will be over. But those with a very good insight can tell that she's extremely nervous as to what's going to happen, because she doesn't know what to expect. Which is everyone besides Thrak has a really good insight. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Yeah, I gotta work on that. Aww. <laughs> no. No, Thrak, what's your insight? Like, minus one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, poor Thrak. Poor Thrak. I'm not a very wise orc. You know, I think you're among the wise. Uh... <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> you want to uh... free the mage slaves, you know? You're, you're, you're at least among the most empathetic. Yeah, but I have, I have plans to do it, and that's not why. <laughs> No, you're a good man, you know, and I think, I think learning to be good comes, you know, as wisdom in itself. We'll see. See if it helps out any. <laughs> anyway. Um, hour two passes. And then hour three. And on hour three, as you're following these dragonborn who, um, they're, my, they're kind of to themselves as well. They're not really speaking to everyone. Mm -hmm. A step is taken forward. And there's an echo. The sound of the ice. That sort of uh, sound of ice. Like a lake when you throw a rock on it. This bending effect. This cracking oh. effect. And then a circle appears on the ground that seems to cover a... It looks maybe over a thousand feet area. This massive 
arcane circle forms around you guys. You guys are behind them, but not by a thousand feet, unfortunately. And that's when you witness the sky start to tear in a familiar way. You've seen this before, but whereas last time the other side had this weird sort of purplish chain looking energy to it, these this swirling effect, uh, this one, as the sky tears, it's fleshy. There's, there is purple to it, but it, it's, it looks moist. It looks writhing. Ooh. There's, yeah, definitely a lot of flesh. And um, Valor uh, like cries out, "The gate is opening." He looks down at the compass for any change in effect. Of course, you guys are unaware if there is, but maybe he just learned. You know, a new thing to read on it. Who knows? But as this uh, as this hole is ripping open, what are your guys' initial reaction? I'm gonna study this thing. That's a uh, great yeah. reaction. How about you, Aurora? What What do you want to do? I want to study it too. Ooh. Ooh. Isn't this thing right. dangerous? What are you talking about? Extremely, I mean, according to them. It's interesting, you know. But they're like way ahead of us, right? No, no, you guys didn't give that you guys are like 60 feet behind them you know but you guys didn't give them like you know hundreds of feet or anything you're just following their footfalls mm -hmm. what is this thing uh can i investigate it or yeah 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 just uh ishtar what, what do you want to do now that the sky is ripping open and the world around you is shimmering and shuddering and within this uh this thousand foot circle I would like to emboldening bond my party members. That's a fantastic choice to do pre-combat. Um, you know, on the off chance there is combat. When there Amelia. Will actually be. What yeah. is Amelia up to? I'm gonna stay with my group. So as if they're not freaking out, I'll be with them. But I'm. I don't want to get close unless they're going closer. All right, fantastic. Um. Well, there's so many lovely drawings. I don't want to fuck with the battle mode right now. <laughs> I'll just delete it. No, no, I like it. I like it. Did you take a picture of it, Laris? No, there's no. lines everywhere. Mm. Well, and you couldn't do this one, I assume. This one's better. Oh, but this one's the best. Amelia one's eating a Aurora cookie. <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, take both of them. You could, 20, you could take both 30. of them. It all, if you wanted to 40. keep it, all, all you have to do is just spawn a blank object, and that would. You can be hovering over it. Like a, a blank board and the object. I'm saying it for no, your for your YouTube. No, you, you guys can fight on top of the lovely drawings. I'm sure if a fight happened, there's every chance a fight won't happen. Here. Every chance. But as this um as the sky opens and this mass sort of uh the the writhing flesh forms into these tentacle shapes and grips onto the edges of it, as if keeping it apart keeping this gap form, um, a bulbish sort of construct of flesh descends downward towards the floor. Oh. And as it reaches um, the, the, the ice, you watch as it's writhing form, these viscous membranes start to part and separate as if it's two hands with interlocked fingers unclasping and revealing and from inside of the do and inside of the sphere of flesh steps a creature that you guys have it, the players have seen but the characters have never heard of seen or anything like it it's almost squid like in its construct oh no <sighs> oh god nice. Who's gonna uh, kiss it? Oh, <laughs> it's a weird looking octopus. Who's that gonna is, kiss it? <laughs> that is a weird looking octopus. I want its worm in my brain so I could fly. The ambassador. That's a uh, that's what he that's what he has right now. That and a little Shutterstock image at the bottom, in case you want to take a picture of him. Apparently, <laughs> <laughs> that is cool. <laughs> he's a he's a friend, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, the dragons ready their weapons. This isn't like the last creature. Prepare yourselves. 
And uh, he simply looks out towards the wall. There's no mouth on this freakish creature that is visible. His eyes are uh, sort of glowing purple, and even the the hundred or so feet you are away from him, they they have this sort of piercing effect where they feel like they're locked onto you. But he's not scanning you. He seems to be scanning the area he's arrived in. His feet hovering just inches above the snow. Hmm. As the uh, the orb the orb of flesh retracts up into the air, and uh, you watch as the sky sort of sutures itself closed. And um, but the the circle, the arcane rune circle, this thousand foot radius circle around you guys, you can see the edge of it sort of shimmering upwards a bit. It's still in play. You get the idea that you are currently locked with the thing in some regard. His hand uh, lifts and everyone, except for whoever's wearing the ring, oh, you know, the mind ring, that mind ring, if anyone's Ishtar. wearing that, Ishtar. Ishtar. Yeah, Ishtar. Everyone, I need you to make an intellect saving throw. Insane. Which the two of you are really, really good at, just on their own. Mm. Yeah, but not good enough. Oh, that's not great. Eleven. You are in Bolton and Bomb, don't forget. Uh, does that make me re roll? Because it doesn't. I mean, no. It allows him to add a D4. Oh. So Plus 13, two. and then yeah. sweet, uh, yours comes yeah. to a total of uh, eight. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, those are still losses. Mm -hmm. As you feel this weird sort of sensation, almost like a tickling on the inside of your skull. It's, it's bizarre, something you would not normally feel. But some of you are well guarded, apparently. Your, your minds are used to this kind of sensation most it's very reminiscent of when speaking to the em the emperor uh mentally it, but it seemed more tact more there was nuance to it as if this creature seems to have more knowledge about it ah the primera so finally i see its soil or rather, it's ice. You feel this voice booming in your head. Not speak. It sounds as though he must be right in front of you, but there is like a hundred feet between you and him. And all of you can hear it. Even the dragon, the dragon board seem to be like, uh, like acknowledging that they can hear this. You gonna talk back to him, Amelia? No, no, no one has. To, yeah, he your mind you have some mind battles and who will he starts to hover about i've learned some of you and through some of you i've learned others he just seems to be hovering towards the edge of this arena mm -hmm. careful there's a cookie over there he floats he, he hovers slightly higher over the cookie until he <laughs> until he reaches one of the edges of it and he, he places his hand against it and you can see that it seems to shock back at him Ooh. huh interest interesting more and more excuse me he floats back eventually. You can lower your arms. I have no intention of fighting. <laughs> Does anyone lower their arms? Can no, I, no, no. I didn't, well, I didn't pull my weapons out in the first place, but yeah, I, mean, I guess my fists are my weapon. But I'm not in an attack position. No, you, you, if you're not, then he isn't addressing you. There, There is a group that entirely is. But if any of you were slightly ready for a fight. Also, I need, um, I'm sorry, Arcana. Ooh. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Arcana from uh, the two people that wanted to inspect the, the crack. Okay, so the, the four was for the inside for him saying, I don't want to attack. Yep. Uh, Arcana. That was his voice, too. He was very whiny about it. He, I, I don't want to attack, all right? <laughs> put your weapons away. Put your weapons away. I don't know why. You know, Box, I don't even know why I roll. 
the end of the, this entire session is in less than 10. Uh, 23. 9. That's extremely good. Can um, I give the help, Axel? No, no, you had your roll. Oh, I You had your roll. Oh, you had your banana, roll. But don't worry. Banana rolled 23. That's extremely good. Oh, uh, really? Oh, shit. The tear in reality, the the fabrics of it, it wasn't brute strength. There was magic involved. And for some reason, deep down, maybe you could replicate that. You would need a lot of power behind you, but perhaps you might be able to planar travel eventually. I've already come across this at that place where um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they came through. There, there was the writings on the tablet that teach you the, the plane shift spell or something like that. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So is it like similar? It, it seems very similar. There, there was a gap here. And, um, yeah, it's the magic speaks to whatever that realm is, even. You might be able to open a hole to there. If oh, like, that was ever like somewhere. a little bit of tuning to it? Like, I don't know, like, something to attune to that or something? Perhaps. But it just seems like a realm... That The way the magic bent, the way the world bent, the arcanum behind it, if you could planar travel, that seems like somewhere... That you would be able to follow. And to now, his for realm. what reason you would yeah. want to do that? Who knows? All right, so I'll write down possible planar travel to the flesh realm. Ugh. <laughs> uh, the dragonborn don't lower their weapons, but all of you guys said you do, and or did not draw them initially. I mean, yeah, I'm not being aggressive. Is my shield my weapon? If you're holding it up, yes. Okay. It, that is an aggressive posture. One one that states, I'm ready for you to attack me. I mean, I don't have anything raised. <laughs> your skull staff? Your scary skull staff? I mean, I'm just propped up on it. Walking stick right now. <laughs> right. Then I'll begin with the people who are most willing to talk. And oh. uh, his form turns and hovers over to you his the cloak about him billowing his outfit seems to be fleshy it's Ooh. not leather it's what weird. are you i am uh, an illith something your realm knows nothing of it seems oh, a terrible yeah. thing a traveler from far beyond your plane why are you here? Ah, why indeed? Imprisonment. I attempted to contact your plane once before. Why? Uh, why? And he's talking that, in our heads, right? Yes. Oh yes. my god, this is terrible for Amelia. She's hearing like a million voices at once. Why is wait, that? Can he? Hold on, wait a minute. Oh, yeah. He, he, you're, he's not talking to you, Ishtar. <laughs> uh, but uh, you. Wait, what's happening? Are we. He's, he's a stand there. What do you mean, what's happening? He's talking to us. He's not speaking. He is speaking. Remove the ring. The ring, the ring, the ring. What happens if it's. I look at my party members. Are they, do, they, do, they, do they look normal to me? Yeah, they look exceedingly normal. Alright, Aurora's under effect? Okay. Hmm. <laughs> uh, would I know if I take off the ring, I will be fine, but then if I put it back on, it'll work? Or would I have to reattune? Oh, you, you should be able to take it off and put it back on. Fine. Uh, that, that, I believe that's how it would work. I, uh... I take off my ring. Alright. Then suddenly his voice seems to echo in your head. And Amelia, you hear it a fourth time over. Oh. Though they all seem to speak in unison. So it's not too bad. It's just slightly louder. It's not as bad as the Emperor. The okay. Emperor seems to have the worst. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, right. Because, simply put, my world was dying. 
my people were dying, and we needed a new place to call home. Though your plane was less than hospitable to us, we, um... Well, I found myself trapped here. I wonder why. <laughs> <laughs> yes. How oh, did you eat something? Uh, you, you, yeah, it's probably because of Paladrax. Paladrax. I know not everything about them, though from what I was able to glimpse from your minds, you'll have to forgive me. My people, we find ourselves passively intrusive. And minds are sort of like books with their pages open to us. Unless you're particularly gifted, and he points his finger at you, Amelia. What? But I Your mind is like a prison. So, locked Ooh. away tight. Very good. A gifted child. Hey, check that out. I'm pretty good. Yes, indeed. Listen, is there any way I... From what I could glean, you know less about this situation than I do. So, I don't know if you'll be able to free me quite yet. But... I was hoping, perhaps, you would be so kind as to... Well, allow my people refuge in your plane. Refuge, huh? I don't think you're yes. gonna make that choice, because Power Drags basically doesn't let it happen. I th yes, right. I know it's a lot to ask, but as I said, quite gifted. You, I can sense within you the <laughs> necessary power to free me. And since you're already on this plane, it <laughs> wouldn't even be that hard for you. No, it would be impossible from where you currently are. But, like I said, a bit intrusive, you'll have to forgive me. I sense you'll find yourself in the Endless Sea rather soon. Right. And perhaps from there, you could open the doors to my proverbial cell. Uh, uh, um, yeah, we'll have to ask Paladrax if that's okay. <laughs> I don't think it's necessary. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it's a little necessary. We watched the entire battalion of demons get exploded. Probably. Yes, but that god... If it barely... You know, barely cares for you more. <laughs> and you have a, you've read my mind, I, right? I've glimpsed it. Red would require more time. Okay, well, Reading would look be up, more appropriate. Look up in my mind that little area where we just got betrayed by helping somebody, uh, you know. Yes, betrayal. I see that you're unfortunately wrought with it. But I promise you, I would never add to that. <laughs> I would love to be one that you consider a new friend. Well, always good to have friends. Isn't it's it? Cool. it? <laughs> I agree. I always seek new friends. Yeah, they're good to have friends, everybody. I don't know why we and want to help them. <laughs> I think perhaps we could help each other, particularly you and me, young lady. He points one finger at you and one back at himself. Oh, wow. We are similar in some regards, and he motions his hand outwards, and you hear the ice <laughs> as he manages to lift several large chunks of ice around him. Ooh, very impressive. I could help you explore the fruition of your ability. Oh, God, am I an illithid? Not oh, yet. <laughs> you could be. Uh, you want to have a worm? <laughs> you could be if you want. No. Fuck but it. you're not. You're oh, currently not no. by any means. You just have an ability ability uh, like that. Yeah, I feel you nauseous. I'm just going to lay down, guys. You make the decisions. I'm a child. <laughs> Hilarious. 
<laughs> like I said, of course, <laughs> you guys can't help me from in here. And to be honest, I'm not too keen on getting help from Doom Society over there. They are <clears throat> more troublesome than Paladrax, if you understand my drift. Jason? I mean, uh, well, well, okay. okay well, well, that, well, if we ever end the NSC, we just have to open the door. That's that's it, right? That's all you ask. I, I, all I ask, but it, it would mean everything. You, you would be saving my people from from death. Oh, you would be heroes what? to all illithid kind. That sounds really good, guys. We can be heroes. We get to make new friends, save entire people. I mean, why wouldn't we want to do it? Do you have some sort of leader or something? Um, had. We found ourselves quite discontent with it. You know, a society doesn't come to an end on its own. We're hoping to be free of them here. Those who have sided with my efforts. Well, no leaders. You can consider me their leader. Okay, that's just, you know, you just gave yourself that title now. I can't take that serious. You. Well, I I sort of helmed the... Uh, fine, you can, prison, you can you consider me. You can prison? You can't You can that. consider me their ambassador, then. The one who speaks for them here. Right, the ambassador. And listen, I... Does the ambassador have a name? I'm sure you're scared of it. There's only, at most, 150 of us. Only? Well... We have a few hundred spawn, but they can't grow. A few hundred spawn, huh? They can um... grow, though. Hey, our reproduction is different than yours. It's, you know, a whole process. Is your name the Ambassador? <laughs> no, it's a title. It's a title, dear. What is your name, then? My name is unimportant. Well, Names I mean... are important here. I would like to know who would to our be... new societies. Right, and I mean, we would like to know who. We I would guess be I've with. seen all of your names, you know, Aurora. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Uh, as I've seen yours, and even though your mind's quite tough, Amelia, they know you well enough for me to at least just glimpse that. Of course. Good lord, you are intrusive. It's you know, like you, I can't, said, you know, I don't know about passive. having you around here, and you're just constantly just you know. Plug okay, yourself okay. in. It's rules. My name, my name is Fallon, that's all. It's Fallon. nothing in yes. <laughs> Fallon. Fallon. Okay. Okay. Oh. Yeah, Fallon. Now, as for this situation around you, you've sort of wandered yourself into my cell. And I'm going to have to leave long before these gates come down. But I'm hoping just maybe. Finally, that the years of suffering my people have endured come to an end. You know. Well, right. uh, would you like anything here to keep you company in the uh, cell? <laughs> no, goodness, no. I wouldn't want anyone else to have to live in this dreadful situation. No, I'm just saying, you want a chess set, some cards? I mean, there's gotta be some time what to pass. What are you eating in there? How are you, how are you staying alive? You know, we have farms still. Oh, they're not great. Oh my they're God. not great currently. They, <laughs> they're dwindling, but it's of no rush. What kind no of farm? Corn? And not a lot of things grow well on a dying planet. Sounds yeah. terrible. My gosh. What's, it your, is what's, what's your dreadful. main food source? Oh, you know, meat. Really? Okay, meat's good. <laughs> How, I, how much tuna can you eat? Not, not to be able to have a lot of protein in your diet, you know? I don't eat a whole lot of tuna. No, no. Should we eat possibly 150 pounds of tuna? I mean, I, you don't look like you... Uh, I think that, uh, would, that would cause me to burst there, friend. And uh, Listen, I saw uh, your endeavor. It's, um, well, perhaps you know, you now, now that you're bringing it up. Loses, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I could make it disappear, probably without anyone noticing. Um, it's the rules, you can't do it. Can't you know, if, uh, if they can't tell you did it, right? Like, it's still. A, it's a bullshit. Still. It's a bullshit. 
Never mind. Yeah, so we're getting off track. Please, just... I I'll depart now so that you can leave this wretched little area, this wretched little pocket. And, um, yes, please, think of me. What, what animals think on the farm? Yeah, whatever, Phelan, we'll think about it, all right? But, uh, you know, just helping people out. It's not been working out very well for us, so, yeah. I understand entirely. Like I said, I've seen your mind, which is why I came to you guys rather than them. You are kinder, more altruistic, and seem like genuinely better people. The kind of people that I think more appropriately would be able to live side by side with someone like us. You know. See, we're good people, folks. Yes. We're, we're Great people. Well, then, I should be going. Anyways, um, right, it was lovely we're, meeting we're, you. Bye-bye, Fallon. Watch out for the cookie again. Uh, you, of course. <laughs> 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 this and that, really. It's whatever's left, you know. <laughs> whatever's left. Um, right. Cow, chicken, horse. <laughs> yeah, we Elf. tried it all. I'm sure. <laughs> he he uh, flies upwards and uh, motions his hands out. Why was there hesitation? <laughs> he, you know, he answered. He said, "Yeah, I'm sure we tried it all." There was a hesitation. <laughs> and you watch as um, the sky tears just a bit, and um, he makes his way through that opening, and it closes behind him. What a nice guy. And something about the air bad. changes. The cold seems to come back in. The winds start to whip again. As if you're out of his cell now. That's, that's not going to happen, duh, Box. I don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> that we're not bringing the 50 Illithid here to populate and take over our planet. 150. Okay, why why wouldn't you? <laughs> you better you better give us someone to tell us don't do that. Oh my god. Yeah. Um. So he doesn't even talk to the other guys? He just boofs? Yeah, the, when, he when he... he when he flies up, you can see that this group is basically all facing you. Like they're 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 as if they're waiting to know what you what you heard. He just wanted to talk and us to open a door for him later, I guess. It wasn't like the first. But... Hmm. So I guess there's multiple gates? There's multiple prison cells in the Endless Sea. But now I think I know when one is approaching. He looks down at his compass and then closes it. Wait, how? I'm not gonna tell you. Wait, wait, how? He didn't have the compass. Oh, he did when they started walking again. It got back the to him somehow. Is the slander! And they start to walk again. Your group following, having met some weird freak named Phelan, uh, a, an alien from a distant planet, that um, that wants you guys to help him help him and his people get here because they are they are on a dying world. Yep, they're running out of food. Who knows? Gotta get that you know, uh, dark they could, somewhere. They could just be not mind flayers as you know them, because they are in my world. Yeah. And there is no written information about them. Sure. Sure. They could actually just be there as a red herring to see how much meta gaming will be done. Yeah. Really. He didn't painful. say anything. They could I just be a game. red herring. That could be. Okay, but guys, as a, uh, Amelia will open the door for you, so you don't have to be the ones that doom the planet. As they go. start walking, uh, Brynjar makes his way back. You guys, you got all good? Uh, yeah, all limbs intact. What about up here? He points to his head. I mean, he said mine's like a 
box that can't be opened. Well, that's... I don't know if that's a compliment or not. Maybe there's the no last... box at all in my head. I... Right. Boxless head. The last time we fought one of these gate creatures, it was a... It was like a, a whale, but instead of a tail on the lower body, tentacles... It was... Got in your head. It fucked with your mind, you know? Wait, so did bad things and it looked kind of like that guy? Nah, he... Nah, it was definitely not humanoid. Only had one eye. But the way the cell opened was much the same. Hmm. Just making sure you're, you know, all in there still. I'm still good. Right, right Thok? His name's Thrak. Ah. Just, just making sure. Just making sure you. you just call. What other. did you just call me? Just making sure you remember each other as you as you were, as you were, as. I you saved were. your life, buddy. I think he's just trying to make sure you didn't like accidentally think you're now named Thor because you got possessed. Oh, okay. You're just looking out for me. Okay, I got you. All right. That's right. You wrong. Still, same wrong. Oh, you're a Thrak, right? That's still rock. Rock. Uh, I mean, Rock's okay. No, you haven't. I haven't heard him say anything since the thing. Rock. <laughs> I'm fine. All right. Okay. I see? couldn't hear nothing. It was weird. Oh. All right. All right. The group pushes forward, and you guys were only in there for like thirty minutes at Mac. Um. During the latter half of the day, off in the distance. You would see these massive spires of ice, these jagged spires that your path now weaves between. Um, some of them have people in them. <laughs> these, some of them aren't so massive and look like they're directed at someone. There's um, eventually you find a pathway between these jagged spires where there looks like a small army of people have been frozen over. There's these statues of people in ice in between this pathway that uh, the Dragonborn start to walk their way through, sort of weaving around as to not knock over any of these um, frozen soldiers. They look Goliath, for the most part. That The brunt of this army seems to be Goliath. Frozen? Goliath? Yep. Yeah, they're frozen solid. Their armor looks old. They, they, Did... These were a while ago. Do they look scared? Uh, I, will, I will detect magic. Some of them look scared. Others, like you can see, one of them uh, has lifted, like is lifted a crossbow and fired it. But the ice around him seems to have gone from the tip of the bolt fired, so it's like a few feet away from him, and then all over oh. him. So he's stuck in this like scene of shooting up at something. As we're walking through here, I'll keep the tech magic going to see if any of these guys uh, have any the enchantment ice, magic. The um. ice seems to be radiating a magic to it. Um, I think it'd be transmutation properties or, or is it abjuration it, it seems to be raiding something that are keeping it it's keeping perpetually frozen wow the ice doesn't seem to thaw naturally well, this is magic ice yes yeah it seems to be and as you're uh walking along this battlefield there's these large ballistas there's these um sort of um hue watch things which uh he watch is like a a siege instrument that fires out like 50 arrows at once up in the sky you're noticing there's no siege towers, no ladders, there's no catapults. This is, a, and most of the weaponry these Goliath have are like long spears, like halberd length, you know, 11 foot long spears that they would hold out. This was clearly meant to fight a creature that was flying, and probably you guys put together the dragon. And from the looks of it, they didn't fare well. <laughs> That is until reach around the next spire, and before you, you see a large temple-esque structure. The stonework of it um, coming out of this mountaintop, and looking down, the ice here is see-through, but it doesn't feel soft. You can see there's ground beneath you. You're on, you're on land. You're mm. on some sort of landmass, an island out here, but it's beneath ice still. 
and this structure itself seems to be frozen over. And sitting atop of it, uh, curled up, its wings over it, these beautiful, sort of almost angelic feathered wings, yet the, the tips of them, the part that connects to the arm, scaled, is a massive creature, a giant white dragon perpetually stuck in this curled up state and oh, a sphere of wings? ice. It has weird, yeah, it has feathered wings. What the hell? Whoa. Feathered wing white dragon? Yep. Um, and just from general lore of the world, this would be the tyrant of, um, the, the, nev the tyrant that never was, uh, Cyrax of, um, v Zalari. It, it, he, he's known to have these sort of beautiful feathered wing, have an angelic appearance to him. Though right now he's curled up in a, in a ball of ice that sits atop the, the fire. Uh, is there any possible way of knowing if this thing is dead? Dead? Um, maybe if you went up there, you could inspect it. But from here, it just it's curled up tight. Like how far away is it? Uh, the spire would probably be like a hundred feet up. <clears throat> but um, as uh, as you reach the the front of this place. Um, the the dragonborn sort of stop and gather up in front of the temple. We'll be going separate ways from here. You seek the the throne fire. We seek the clutch. They are further near the north, the top of the tower. The throne is at the all, bottom. You're almost there. You guys are almost made it. Keep it up. How, how far up is it? It's only, like I said, it's only like 100 feet at its top pinnacle. Or, like, below the sphere. The sphere itself is, you know, because it's I, containing a gargantuan rock creature. up there to just see if he sees anything? Uh, you want to, alright, you send rock and look up through him. Um, roll me an investigation? Actually, no, I was going to say, it's uh, actually, it's not even necessary. Um... Looking at him, it's impossible to tell. He seems to be in a suspended state. He could be dead. He may be frozen oh, any, himself any over. Any eggs or anything up there with him? None in the ice with him. Okay. He's on the outside of the building, though. He, like, I know. The, the tower yeah. comes to this uh, this sort of... Um, it's like a, be a beautiful cathedral-esque structure with these rising areas. And he, he, he is... Fr and like I said, there's ice over all of it. Uh, he sits above the pinnacle of that, curled, in, curled up there. Yeah. In here, let's get his token out here. Here's here's beautiful siren. Okay, token play. Interesting. God, uh, the halo is pretty cool. But um, that be a bad dragon. It is. You know, looks can be deceiving. Nah, nah. The dragons actually were the good guys, folks. I. I think that's a bizarre claim, <laughs> but <laughs> um, as uh, as were any of us alive when these supposed dragons that such terrible things? Can any of us with own testimony? <laughs> uh, you know, I can't reveal that story. And uh, and, and these dragonborn were allies of them, and they don't seem that bad, right? They Jack? don't seem that bad. <laughs> seem that bad. <laughs> But um, the Valor approaches the gate and uh, takes in a deep breath before blowing out a breath of fire on it. The ice, uh, the ice, sort of uh, slowly melting. Even though it does seem to have the same magic, it seems that his breath, another dragon of some sort, is able to melt it slowly. And he pushes open the doors to a tattered great hall. Um, there are more frozen people in here. But they look, there's not just Goliath. There are some Goliath soldiers you can see that must have made it this far. But what you see are these um, these people wearing sort of ursine-esque garb. They have uh, bear pelts on their shoulders. Some have bear heads over their heads. And you're noticing a lot of blonde hair among them. Blondes, huh? Yeah, blonde hair, oh. pale skin. 
they have look tattoos over, about their look bodies. Look over at uh, Aurora. Clearly oh. they're Aurorian. Uh, uh. Maybe uh. I was meant to be a Goliath after all. No, these aren't Goliaths. They're human. Oh. But um. Your ancestors. Your hello. <laughs> your father hello. did say that you are from here. Oh Lord, have mercy. I see your great 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 grandma right there. <laughs> I, I wanted, like, She's a eating a hundred and fifty pounds of tuna. Oh my <laughs> gosh! Right. She's, she's lifting oh, an, entire, an entire an entire tuna above her head. Wow, well, like, you got a recruit! Oh my God, for her! <laughs> <laughs> as uh, as you're looking about, looking over these frozen people, uh, the dragonborn start to head up a stairway, um, but. Uh, Brynjar stops near the, the start of it. He goes, Well, uh, I don't reckon we'll be seeing each other again after this. I'm sorry if things were difficult. I reckon, hopefully, if we make it back quick, I can take you out for drinks to make up for it. Yeah, fine. Be safe. Yeah, Jack is a you... nice guy. He would have done it and, and regardless if there was payment for it or not. You, you know what? Kid. I hope you just keep your buddy safe, okay? <laughs> Save somebody for me, all right? Yeah, you got it, partner. I, uh... I'll remember your name. Yeah. That's all right. They they head up. He also gave him a bag! A, a fancy bag, so it's, it's, it's squared away. And you guys begin to push deeper into the temple, I assume. Go to, yeah, go deeper. Um, as you push open these doors to the next one, you enter a grand hall where it looks like the tables were set up in a barrier. Um, and behind it, you can see people huddled up. It looks like a group of people uh, as if they were hiding here, waiting for something to end or to move on, hoping to be safe, but... Uh, it seems whatever whatever froze them permeated the walls of this place and hit them too. Um, it looks like women and children mostly, frozen solid behind the cover. There's a, a few warriors with them. It looks like a few of these bigger um, bigger people whose weapon of choice seems to be great swords. I'll but just yeah, glide, I'll glide my hand like amongst the ice and just touch the ice where the the frozen figures are. Right. They look oddly similar. There's enough, there's gap, but you could imagine that perhaps some of these people are dead at mm -hmm. some point. But um, you, you do find behind them um, this large door. And there's a there's a place in the middle where a hand can be placed but uh, atop it, it reads um, do any of you speak giant? Uh, not me uh, nope I don't speak giant could be any oh, one speak... of us oh wait, is, is Gnomish giant? no, Gnomish is not giant alright, well, teach their own <laughs> No, Could no be giant. any one of us that might Ishtar, speak do you giant. speak giant? No. Could be when- yes, I do speak giant. Ishtar, you, you read, uh, Only by the blood of one bor born with Ursine's gift can this door be opened. And the part where the hand gets put in, there's a, uh, a very small sort of needle structure in the palm of it. Mm. I, uh, I look over. I tell Aurora, you can't oh. read that? No. It says the only way the door will be open is to give blood of the Earth sign. Blood born of the Earth sign. Earth sign's gift. Earth sign's gift. Gift? Are you from the Earth sign? Oh, I am. I heard about that town. It was in a whole different place. Sure. A big gun points at Amelia <laughs> from behind the fourth uh, wall. Uh, <laughs> the, narr the narrator points at Amelia. Get down, get down! 
<laughs> I thought it was called Irma Sphere though, not not by Mother Earth. <laughs> <laughs> Well, you know what's told? Yeah, you, can't, you can't cock a shotgun twice. Does it look like I can, <laughs> I can like cut my hand and like do like a uh, blood? There's, there's a needle. Th th yeah, there's a structure in it that uh, looks like if you put your palm against it, it would pierce it. I'll head over and I'll, you know, just a little bit scared and I touch it with my hand. All right, you place Let's your palm down and. There's a yeah. bit of hesitation because you can feel the point of the needle against yeah. your palm, but you mm. push down and there's a pain and your blood starts to run on it. Ugh. And five seconds pass, ten seconds pass, mm -hmm. twenty seconds. Nothing seems to be happening. The, the frozen mm. over door doesn't seem to be moving. Oh. I let go. Ow. Thought I was more connected to the earth side than. And okay. as you say that, you hear, <gasps> and the door begins to break against the ice until it shatters and begins to swing open. Oh. The two shotguns on the door slowly point. Up. <laughs> <laughs> and What's reveal, it said? What's reveal a stairway downwards, even further. Like they said, the throne is downward, oh. and they were aware of that for some reason. Are you looking at me, Leo? I said, Leo, you want to hold my hand when we go downstairs? I, yeah, Her I mean, bleeding hand. <laughs> I, mean, I know, I know, I know <laughs> you're clumsy, so yes, I'll hold on your hand to help you. Uh, yeah, stepping in here, it doesn't seem as the ice got into here as much. You can see the sort of jagged effect of the ice not making past the doorway. In fact, we should all hold hands, so I have another like... hand, so one of the Ishtar grab that one, and Ishtar, you grab Thrax and that way none of us fall down the stairs. That's actually kind of cute. I Can we all hold hands? That's kind of yes, cute. Yes, of course you can all hold hands if that's oh. what you want to do. Yeah, is this, when you were saying about the ice being separate from this door, is it because it was natural, because naturally the door was thick enough for ice not to penetrate it, or because there's magic involved? Little column A, little column B. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But uh, as you now all holding hands to begin to head down the stairs, um, you're maybe a little jump scared because as you take a step, <laughs> suddenly a brazier lights up on the side. <gasps> I guess and you're not really another. holding Thrax's hand. It's holding more like a cloud of mittens. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> mittens, it's a, mittens activated. <laughs> It's a, it's a, you know, it's a grip you got there. It's a weird one. It, you know, it can squish all the way through. His finger doesn't make it to the, the ones you're holding. Um, but more brazier's light. And as you make it to the bottom, you see a chamber that is, um, there's just one more door between you and the chamber. And on the floor, you watch as, uh, the ground itself seems to light up and fire these paths, um, forming what looks like an earth like a, a bear's head out of flame on the floor not not like a 3d but like a 2d of it. Mm -hmm. and um Whoa. it begins to spiral up as something manifests there um a, something comes through as this fire spirals up a creature steps through and frack you recognize this creature oh god not mouth oh please no <laughs> not mouth <laughs> Oh! Ah. <laughs> uh, and a, a simian creature. Is it the who, fucking Bobo? A simian <laughs> creature whose hair is on fire. Uh, her form, her form seeming to form out of the fire, walks through. She kicked your ass. <laughs> she did kick she your ass the last time you met her. Oh my god! <laughs> hey, <laughs> it's been so long. Oh. Hi, Thrak. Good to see you again. Oh, she actually remembered you remember her name. remember me. Like, a quarter of a yeah, year later. She remembers right, three all quarter the of a year later. I'm unfortunately not here for you. What? Not now. Hey. She points her, uh, her staff at Aurora. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Aurora. Yeah. Well, hold on. How's Tito? <laughs> He's doing great, thank you. But I, I, I must... I must speak to Aurora. Okay. <laughs> you know, there's part of her that wants to entertain your conversation, but she does seem to be focused right now. 
<laughs> oh. Oh, that's sad. But anyways. <laughs> <laughs> Before you, just through those doors, lies the corpse of the Ursine spirit, Kieran. Kieran. That sounds like my name, that's funny. <laughs> and within you is the spirit of flame. Long ago, the elements ruled this land. I'm sure you've heard the stories. Yeah. I have. The Goliaths imprisoned them within spirits of nature. It is your choice, Aurora, what you are going to do through those doors. But as the Guardian of Flame, I implore you not to return him to his imprisonment. To not return him to his, to his imprisonment. I know you're seeking to free yourself of his rage. And I cannot say how he will respond. Then what am, what am I to do? When you step inside, you will either return the flame to Curin imprisoning him once more and freeing you or you can return it to its blade releasing him though I know not what would become of you <gasps> well does that mean she could die it very well could. oh why would we do that? I mean, why would what? That's a really big ask. I'm aware, and I will not fight you, nor give pause to your decision. I'm just a warden of flame. It is your choice, ultimately. You are the one who has suffered at its hand. She steps aside and holds out her staff to the doorway. <sighs> can, can they come too? Of course. Is the blade in there? Like It's all in Okay. Alright. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, that's fine, you know, just return to his blade, yeah. Oh, Wait, but then you yeah. might die. Uh, um Can she talk to him first before she does it? Like is there like a He's within her. You gotta ask him why he was being so mean. I, I, I wish I could talk to him, Amelia. Well, I don't know how. The only... Hmm. The only way I know how is if... Well, you know. I don't um, know. I don't know what you mean. I go crazy. Well, okay, let's go through the portal then. Because we can go too. Or, or she, right? You said yeah. Just through that doorway lies his corpse. Then let's go talk to the corpse. Go talk to him, yeah. Alright, she, st she steps aside. Aurora, you walk forward and you push open the doorways, revealing a large circular room. Uh, sitting in the center of it is the, the corpse of a massive bear, a gargantuan-sized bear. Its form reefed with uh, scarring and f uh, f flame. Its fur looking hard and like stone. And driven into its stomach is a massive blade. Wrong one. That's not the bear you should see right now. <laughs> Ooh, unbearable. Oh, I wish I saw the bear. <laughs> here's here's the uh, Driven into it is a blade. Oh. 
the blade looks very similar to your current blade, all warped and crag-like, uh, as if damaged by flame, but made out of stone. Hmm. But that's all that's in this room. Hmm. Um. Ishtar. Mm -hmm. Can you... Um... Have I seen you cast Speak with Dead? He's never done it. Frederick's the only one that has. Never. Can you cast something that I've seen Frederick cast? He probably doesn't have it prepared. Oh. Um... What when, like, you know, me? there's, like, a dead person he could talk. Can you do that? You guys are cleric people. Um, I don't have prepared. Oh. Is it an animal? I could speak to an animal. It's, it's, it's I point to the bear. Well, I mean, maybe the is the bear alive? The, no, the, the it's bear's very dead. clearly a corpse. Or massive. It's getting bigger, what the? <laughs> it was always this. Amelia! No, I'm out. How good luck. <laughs> Deuces. No, 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 Amelia. Oh, I got some crackers in my back here. I'm just gonna. Amelia did all of Very good crackers. But uh, Aurora, you can sort of hear whispers from the sword. Just these soft, just <gasps> incomprehensible, just just noises sword coming from the. It's the sword of cast talking to me. I would like to... But you're getting the impression that if you want to choose Kirin, you would have to pull the blade from him and then channel channel into him. You you would just be able to do it. Or if you want to go aside with uh, Roka and fulfill her request, you would just channel the blade the you're into the, the sword itself. Channel myself into the blade, but just... leave it as is. Yeah, you, yeah. God. I'm gonna touch the hilt of the sword. Just touch it, just to see if I feel anything. You it's, it's <gasps> warm. It's warm. There's a flame to it. It's it's massive, by the way. Giant, like it's it's unwieldy for you. Mm -hmm. You need to be a huge creature in order to hold it. Um, but you don't you don't feel anything. Mm. Can I try to discern where these whispers, where at the the point of um, the source, where the whispers came from? It seemed to be echoing around the room from the center, but as you put your hand on the sword, it all went silent. Oh, I let go. There's nothing. There's just quiet, just waiting on. Or if there's anything you want to do beforehand. I would like to grab the hilt of the sword and just lift it up just a bit. Not from the corpse. Like, not completely out of the corpse, but just a Do you want to just see if you can remove it? Yeah. Yeah, no strength necessary. You 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 grip it and like you grip with both hands and you give like a slight tug and it, you can feel it pulling free. You do have the ability to do so. And it doesn't seem to be just siphoning from you. Channeling channeling into it would be a very direct action you would need to take. It's not something that'll just happen. Right. How do I channel something like that? Do I just rage? You at you, the... you can just feel it. You you can okay. you can feel, you know, you, this essence about about it and you know, it might it might come off awkward and like straining yourself at first, but try that. I kind of want to talk to this to this to to this spirit. If, so, if I'll, you do I'll... one, if you do like, if you do one, it might like that might just be the one you do. Like, it might not be like you can do a little bit and then talk to it. Oh, oh, so it's either in or it's, out. It's either Kirin or, or the sword, 
and uh, or you if there's something maybe i don't know you could do maybe you could ask the others maybe you could do things that would invoke different outcomes but right now those are the the outcomes the with options. channeling <sighs> um. you could also just turn and leave and keep it inside you i was also thinking of the right <laughs> that, I, oh, that, that, that would be a bizarre one, but you know, that's also a. a hey, thanks, Box, for all this. Right, I'm guys, just going to leave. Home. Yeah, you know what? I <laughs> hey, think thanks, I'm a better Box. vessel. <laughs> Goodbye. Yeah, I've been great. Uh, I was thinking of like doing something with commune with nature. Because I can unlock that now. Maybe. Yeah, I could, I could ritually cast commune with nature. And I could talk or gain knowledge about powerful elementals. I was. It, is you can do that? That might. You I, was, know. I was thinking of doing, but then it's like I don't know, like I don't know, like how far I would I would go with it. Like I don't know what I would ask it. Oh, I mean, it's a it's a start. It's a way to get answers at all. What would I ask it? What what knowledge would I even try to gain something like this? I, I turn I turn to my party and I say and I say um well I can well I could do something in the next 10 minutes if I concentrate really really hard and I could try to do something that Sadak used to do which is a, com a commune with nature and gain knowledge on uh, some elementals I wonder if that'll give me information uh, About Kieran. You think that's a good idea, you guys? I mean, yeah, it's better than to try something instead of dying, right? Okay. Looking back at the group, uh, they've all entered the room with you. They're they're in here with you. The only one who is not is uh, Roka, who's standing back in the doorway. She's just watching. Oh, so she's within like she sixty feet of us, basically. Yeah, yeah, she's just behind you. She's barely, in the barely in this place. Okay. Uh, I will. Yeah, she, I'll... she promised not to interfere, though. She's letting you make this decision. I'll ritually cast commune with nature. All right. You sit down by the bear spirit. You close your eyes. You place your hands to the earth. It's cold. Mm. And for ten minutes, you concentrate until. Mm at the end of it your eyes suddenly open and you don't see just the world around you 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 can feel a connection to it. you can hear distant voices and you can try to tune into any of them what, what do you what do you want to get with what do you want to hear what do you want to what do you want to ask i kind of want to i want to mentally just hone in on to on to Kieran, the earth elemental uh, he's not an elemental. He is a. Or a bear. It's be uh, the, the, the bear, sorry. <laughs> There's voices about him. Um, you don't. You can't mm -hmm. tell if you're hearing his, but there's voices about him. Mm -hmm. There's the subtle remarks. What do you want to ask? Um. Why? Why you? Do you have to go down? Alright, so... With Commune with Nature, you instantly gain knowledge of up to three facts of your choice about any of the following subjects, and we'll say that he's a powerful enough creature that he uh -huh. could... You're trying to gain facts about Kieran and specifically why it had to be. Yeah, why it had to be him. You get the response from nature itself, world around you. A construct. A prison. Subjugation. And with that, I'll, I'll mentally retract, and then I'll 
You get two more facts, by the way. Oh, yeah. I do? Okay, okay. Yeah. Um. You can ask three questions, apparently. That's actually pretty cool. Oh, okay, so then I'll mentally, like, shifting from the bear, I'll try to connect with, with myself. I'll do some meditation on myself and try to connect to the fire inside me. Right. And see if it speaks to me and and say to it, um, um, you need to be out of me. Right. So now, inter introspectively, now that you're aware, you're you're some sort of vessel right now for this fire, a curse maybe, a part of it, who knows? But you you ask inside of you. And you're looking for information on it. A powerful elemental, so mm -hmm. answer enough. Hatred, rage, mm. freedom, subjugation, and the name Marit. The what? The Marit? name Mar 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 Marit. Marit? Marit. With a key at the end. Marit, who's Marit? Who's Marit? Do you want that to be the third thing you focus on? Oh. Yeah, I want to know who that is. I want to know who that is. All right. Finally, focusing on Marit. Spirit of fire. Gift to man. <sighs> Trap. Prisoner. What the hell happened? I thought Marie attacked and killed Karen, but it doesn't seem like that's the case. <sighs> well, you, you guys have already been led into what happened multiple times. What happened to the elements? Like the Hindrags betrayed them, I guess, and stole their power? The, the giants did. That, that, you guys have heard multiple times now that the giants betrayed the elements and tried to steal their power. Oh. And for this, were punished by losing their elemental affinities. Yeah, so, uh, well, then Roko's comment request is not that bad. Just that it potentially could have freaking, you know. Yeah, Marie could just be a very vengeful, angry creature. But they already have to deal oh, with the oh Empress my. right now. I mean, they, can they really handle <laughs> an elemental oh. form? Too? But that is. What nature has informed you? Is, only, is there a way to talk to Marie and ask, like, can you do it? Like a, like a contract or, like, you know, conditions, like, if I released you and gave you the freedom, would you not seek? Is there any way to do that? I can't. I can't talk to her. But can you try? I'm going to try to talk to it. I'm, like, pacing in my room. Um, Wait, is, there anything, is there anything in this space that just stands out differently? Like, are we on, like, a little island of magma or, like, cool rock? No. Or no, it's just, uh, it is cool. It's a, a circular platform with a dead bear on it, basically. What's beyond the circle? <sighs> um, there's these little outcoves where candles would be lit. Uh, the wax is long since melted down. No one seems to be taking care of it down here. Oh. So we're kind of like more like in a underground temple. Yeah, yeah. Well, it, temple, you know, one word for it, prison another. Who knows okay. what you're getting. <laughs> Yeah, mm. not, not, nothing like no heard... holy symbols or iconography anywhere besides this, the bear. The bear himself uh, has these sort of sigiled patterns on him, though they seem to be burning right now. Can I? Hear me out, Box. I'm trying to be creative. Just hear me out. Hear yep. me out. I can cast a beast sense ritually. Yep, yep, and beast. for beast sense, I can see through the through the beast's eyes and hear what he hears, and I can gain the benefits of any special senses it possesses by the creature. So, if the whisperings are coming from the bear, can I try to listen and be in there and hear what it hears? Hmm. 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 Um, bear's dead. Shouldn't work. Yeah, the bear is unfortunately oh. dead. Oh, oh that's right. Just it touch needs it. to be a weird just, just touch it. Touch and see what. He, have you touched it? I'll touch it? the bear. I'll touch yeah, the bear. Maybe. I'm gonna put my. I'm gonna put my palm in his where his heart is. Um, 
like I said, the fur seems to have been hardened over into a stone-like pattern, but you can feel this sort of bristliness to it, this sort of mm. almost ashy ashness to it, where it kind of crumbles at your touch. Mm. There's an emptiness to this bear. One that you clearly have the power to kill. Right. But that would be channeling into the bear. That'd be channeling into the bear. Oh my god, do I channel the bear or do I channel the blade? Um. Mm -hmm. I know what I would do, but that's your decision. Who would you do, Lelia? I don't, don't tell you, her. I don't think you. <laughs> want, I don't think you want me to know. I, 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 for you to know. But I know what I would do. Save the bear. That's what you would do. You're an animal lover. Imagine I, if the bear was a giant. Corgi. They got betrayed, and that they deserve to be free. Yeah. Uh, you know, if the, if, if yeah. the ancient giants did, it, and it wasn't because there was bad things happening, it didn't sound like there were bad things happening, they just wanted their power, then the elements have been suffering for so long, it's not fair. Mm. But I just wish that we could kind of get, you know, like, please don't kill the descendants, you know, kind of stuff, but I guess we can't talk to the person. You know, maybe you can't. Who knows? Well, I don't even know the name. <laughs> yeah, you don't. Can I... I? I would like to channel my energy into the sword because. Are, are you sure? It, yes, because I can. I can make the decision of whether I release the sword or I infuse myself with this sword still in this bear's body. Yeah, I, well. Once you you either channel into the sword or into the bear, like I said, there might not be a just giving it a little bit. You you might just be releasing this thing into the sword, which seems to be, from the way Roka worded it, part of its form. If you know, it's maybe who knows. So it would be returning the soul to its form or to the bear. It's either oh god. What a decision. Well, so yes. Roka wants us to. Yeah, because I don't know if this spirit, like what boxes you. you I don't know if it's going to be vengeful. What is it? And then I Roka wants massacre? us to put it. Roka wanted us to put in the sword, right? Put yes. it in the sword to release it. Um, well, and putting it in the bear would give it to the Hindrakes, is what it would be. It would would give it back to the bear spirit, which was, it's as it's put, it's prison. Isn't the? Hmm. I'm gonna channel the sword. And from what? From what Aurora got while uh, doing Commune, the bear is a construct. So it being dead could just be a product of it not having the soul within it. Huh. But are you sure, sweet? Is that the yes. final decision? Wait. Well, oh, hold wait, up. Well, so we came all the way over here for you to just channel into the sword? Well, either way, it's getting out of her. You are freeing her of the curse. <laughs> But I don't know what the repercussions are going to be. Yeah, the repercussions are unknown. I, you know, but I if hear... we kill her now, we do free her from... <laughs> <laughs> you know, this would... you're not and... wrong. Well, <laughs> I mean, that wrong. one's wrong because it would go to your siblings, right? It travels through Travel, your family. Yeah, was... uh, this what one, sibling? This <laughs> one will disconnect <laughs> it. The sibling is alive. The the oh, yeah, who alive. made the construct? What did we ever find that out? No, you, oh, no. you don't. You assume the giant. I just for just freaking free the elemental. I I don't I don't know. Yeah, I'm gonna... it's up to you, sweet. I channel the sword. All right. Final, final. I'm locking it in locks. No you back. grip the handle of the sword with both hands <laughs> and close your eyes. You tense up. Your muscles strain, <laughs> and you feel flame. Building up inside of you, this familiar uh, sense that that uh, rage you would feel, that loss of control. But uh, as it builds up, it begins to dwindle. As from around her, you watch the flame spiral down her arms into the swords. This reddish, not natural colored, like a reddish, almost purple. There's the, mm. there's these shades of pink in it too. It's this very um sort of almost um you know neon flame color as uh, Aurora you eventually stumble back letting go <gasps> the sword the sword burning up and uh, the stonework starting to crumble as 
from the wound that the sword gave, you watch the bear, the bear's uh, inside sort of bend and uh, rip <gasps> as something pushes its way out. Back first, <sighs> a large creature, uh, massive horns ador adorn its head. Um, it has fur, but it seems to be burning, ever moving in this pattern. Uh, arms of fire adorn its body. It seems to have multiple nails driven through its limbs um, oh. uh, with these sigils on them. Here, I'm going to throw him out here. Uh, he knocked over the dragon. Here's Marie. That looks evil. Yeah, he does look evil, doesn't he? Uh, as he stands up, gripping oh his hands, gripping the stonework, pushing himself up, he towers above you guys. But he looks down at you, Aurora. And Aurora! Uh. You suddenly speak Ignan, which is the fire elemental language. You can add that to your languages, I don't care. Yay. But you understand him for some reason. You freed me. Yeah? I don't like this rage anymore. After all your family done to after they imprisoned me. After what I did to your brother. You I've... freed me. Why? <laughs> well. I believe everybody deserves a second chance. And I, I, I don't want this inside me anymore. I was suffering. Second. A second chance. As if I ruined my first. I was betrayed. And as he as he gets angry, oh. his form like burst up. He gets flames covering about him. I gave you everything. I bestowed <laughs> fire onto this world to warm your houses, kindle your hearths, to guide you through the coldest and darkest nights. Second chance. Uh, maybe he, maybe, maybe us the you. second chance? You know, us, not you. He looks over at Amelia for a moment, but his eyes turn yeah. back to you, Aurora. He wants he wants something from you. Not oh, a this physical thing. Common? Uh, oh, I couldn't understand that. Damn. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Never mind. God she, she glances it. over at Amelia. But oh, that's a really good one to say, uh, sweet. That's a really good one. Write it down, write it down. Say it again, Box. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, he, he just, uh, he got mad that you referred to him needing a second chance. Because, from his perspective, he's given so much to Moro, and was betrayed. I... And, from the sound of it, specifically, it sounds like your family were the ones who architected Curin. His prison. Because <gasps> he said what your ancestors did to me. I'm so I'm so sorry. And really, I am. If, if I could, if I could speak on their behalf, I'm so sorry. We we did that. I I'm 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 attached to it. Yes, but that that's not who I am. I, I didn't mean for all this to happen. Um, his eyes sort of widen a bit. And before he uh, he sterns his eyes again, looking down at you. You know, I am my own person. You know, I... We hurt you, and I understand. And you have every right to be furious over it.
All I, all I could do, all I could tell you, which is not enough for what you're wanting, all I could say is I'm sorry. You want to roll me a persuasion? Dumpstat my charisma. <laughs> Oh my god. You want to roll me that persuasion dump stat charisma? Uh, okay. When did she learn down. that language? She got the, the lux down. It's a flat roll for her now. <laughs> it didn't cool. even roll box. It just well, wait, you have, you, you have, I, I give my inspiration. Damn. Can you? <laughs> I got please? one for the recap, DM. You know? Please, Come on, please. You know? Do you just, want to give your inspiration? Yeah, just pass on on over there. Yeah, fine. I'll let you spend your inspiration. That's great. Oh my okay. god, if I roll lower... Do I spend be... my inspiration and not... No! <laughs> I'm not going to roll this dice. I'm going to roll one of my dice. I can't. Mm -hmm, I can't. I'm gonna mm -hmm. roll one of my dice. Superstition dice. I... Yes, it is a superstition dice! This is the, that's the oh. Laris one. You gotta mark that. Make that. Play, that that's the Laris. In fact, that you know, you know what? Which I'll one was it. that that just made the 20? This that's one right slightly. here? Yeah. All right, yeah. let's grab that really quick. Um, make that white and hand that over here. <laughs> That's, his no, dice. Like <laughs> That's his dice now. <laughs> uh, you watch as the flames that had sort of billowed up on him started to lower. You are not your ancestor. I can admit. I let fury guide my path. Rage consumed me. And I let it burn through your bloodline. I was wrong. Those who saw me in prison died long ago. And to torture you. I would be no But one thing you got wrong, child of the Ursine. The rage you felt wasn't me. I only stoked what was within you. He crouches down and places one of his nails to your chest. You are imbued with the spirit of fire by your very conception. The only difference is you've let it consume and burn away everything in its... For freeing me, I gift you control. Aurora, you feel heat in your chest and spiraling up your arm. And it burns for a moment, but then there's relief. <sighs> and I, I, I know I know some people are going to hate this, but all the wounds you've received from burning seem to dissipate. I quit this game. Your scars. Her hair's not going to grow back, though. <laughs> No, Your it doesn't just magically will, appear. Will you can now, back. It can now it, grow back, right? Yes, it can now grow back. There's no magical springing uh, out. Oh, of that there. means I'm burned and then she's not. That's not fair. <laughs> oh, man, I'm a monster. Ah! Child of Ursine. As a sigil of our peace. Filmin. Freedom. Mm -hmm. I gift you my flame. Take it. Know the power that your ancestors struggled to control, that they hid me away from, betrayed me for. No. Know that I never stopped caring for the mortal race. I was a fly.
That being said, he stands up straight. I must free my brothers and sister. Like me, they are in prison. And I can hear their anguished cries. Oh. Furthermore, you should leave this place quick. Permafrost melts, fires return. And he motions his hand, and you see down the stairway that you guys initially came, water is trickling down. Oh, we gotta go. We gotta yeah, get yeah, back yeah. to the mainland. It's days of travel! What about Tito? What about the dragons? One of you can make it quick. He walks to the center of this room and places his finger on the ground and begins to drag it along. And you watch as it burns in as he scrawls out thrall, something you're very aware of and seemingly permanent. Warcraft 3 thralls here? <laughs> or Thrax, sorry. Thrax, <laughs> you're, something you're aware of and seemingly permanent. A How did you know that was thrall? <laughs> green Jesus a, is here. A teleportation circle in the crag. Memorized. <laughs> yeah, immediately memorized. But you can okay. channel your magic and use it to go to any other one right now. Fire fire temple. Well, I have a permanent one to the fire temple, too. Cool. Yes, yes, you do. Crag, crag, fire temple. Oh, we just leave, I guess we're going to leave those. Uh, oh, God. Is the is the dragon going to thaw out? You could go have a look before you teleport if you want. Uh, <laughs> do you want to? I didn't need to know that. Do you want to go have a look? He, uh, uh, as he looks at you, he goes, We will speak again. Thank you. You're Aurora, Greyborn. Can I give him a hog box? Sure. Yeah, why not? I you give could... him a hog. <laughs> That's no. my girl. Look at that. No. I taught him that. Little <laughs> child <laughs> <first of ours. laughs> he, he looks a little taken back. And as you look back at your friends, uh, Roka is smiling. She has her like staff up on her shoulder, but she's as, happy as with Amelia. Out. Amelia's Little, beaming with pride. I I told him. Me. Uh, <laughs> Keeper of flame. We have work to do. And she nods and steps in the center of her platform. <laughs> Fire and dulcer, and she disappears. Oh. And oh, she's gosh. gone. Oh, oh tee tee! Hi, <sighs> oh, so that's the one that kicked your ass? No, it was a much bigger one. No, I mean her. He he steps petty. into his own circle, and you watch fire engulf him as well. He goes somewhere. Who knows? Okay. Lowers his hand. Uh, <laughs> you know this? It's heating up. Feeling good. I mean, it is heating up. At, the ice is melting. The we can't take the mittens off. Oh no! Uh, yeah, I'm okay. Yeah, mittens are not yet at the point of taking off hug. yet, but uh, right, we you... might want to check on that dragon. Why? Because we, we got seven. Out. We got seven buddies that could be walking into an angry. Yeah, I thought they were allies with the dragons. Yeah. It's not like we can I fight don't know that dragon. That. I don't. I don't it's think it's not we... about fighting it. It's just kind of knowing. Okay, well, we gotta make it. Known? We gotta make it quick because the ice is melting. I mean, yes, we gotta go. We gotta go. We gotta. Can we peek? That's good thing yeah, you didn't die. Turn around! Right. Turn around! All right, the group begins to run up the stairs. Uh, do you guys want to head outside or up the stairway they went? Uh, the sta uh, the stairway is wet, though. The stairway they went you is can, to somewhere else inside this area. It's not. It's at place. the pinnacle of the tower where they said the brood was. Oh, then we're going up <gasps> there, up their stairs, then, because that's the fastest way. <laughs> All right, uh, you guys begin to run up the stairs, and as you reach the pinnacle, the top floor, uh, you can see in the room, Dragonborn dead, laying on the ground here and there. Ah. Uh, amongst the dead is Rinyar. Yorick, Thorin, oh Valric, and Wait. Thorn. So everyone besides one. No, besides two. Oh. Spader's missing. Spaders. Of course, the one with the compass. Uh, they 
but what you see before them is a single large white egg frozen in frost. There wasn't three. There was only one. Oh, and it doesn't look like a dragon killed them. It looks like they fought each other. Yes, they, they have wounds from each other. Is there something wrong with the egg? Like there's like a drill in it or anything like that? How the... No, they, it's just, it's in permafrost. It's slowly defying now, but they, they couldn't, he couldn't reach it before. Okay. But they're standing before it. Well, they're still here. Yeah, they're still here. Oh, okay, so, okay. But clearly so they uh, fought each other is what it looks like. Yes, and it doesn't look like they did all the It looks like everyone fought here. Oh, what the God. hell happened here? Why are you here? You should have departed long ago. Been done. We I can the sense the flame has returned. Permafrost melts. Your job is complete. I mean, wanted to warn you because I mean the dragon might come back and wake up and eat you guys. Sarax died long ago. Did you guys no kill each other? What did you do out here? What yeah. happened? God. Was, was. There was no way we could decide who would get the egg. It's the only one we've come across in a hundred. Yeah, but there's still two 50. of you right now. Why did I? I even then, you shouldn't have killed each other over it. Like. He, he looks back at Keldor. Oh no, don't. <laughs> Keldor, run! Oh no! Keldor steps forward. I'm fine with it ceasing with me. I have no family left to even mention. I was common born before Baylor found me. Then you deserve the egg. I seek none of its gift. Only that Baylor makes it here. I, there's nothing they can do about it. They're all dead. And there's nothing they can do now. Is the dragon the big dragon? Because I mean, we saw that forever uh, ago. Like, is that the yeah, you can, uh You can see water dripping down from the top through the windows of this large tower that you're in. Oh, uh, you could run to a window and like lean out it and look upwards if you wanted to. I'm gonna go do that. If it, and then I'm just gonna try to make sure it's not alive. Oh gosh. Soon, Galdor. Soon it will be free. And then we can claim its soul. All right. They turn around to face it. As Amelia, you uh, lean on the window and look up. A splash of water hits your face from this. <laughs> uh, but you can see the the orb around it's dwindling very quickly. And as you're staring at this white form, its wings curled up, this underneath view you have of it allows you to see up between them. You can see its head, its eyes closed, its head tilted down against itself. It almost looks peaceful. And as you're looking, one of its eyes suddenly shoots open. Oh, God. <sighs> And you watch as up the ice, a massive crack begins to form. <laughs> oh no, we gotta go! Salvation! 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 We gotta get the heck out of here! That dragon's waking up! It's alive! Uh. Crack, what do you do? Amelia comes running over and tells you that dragon is alive. We gotta and go. Baylor, like, he looks shocked. Alive? It's I just look at it! Oh, look at it! It's and he crack. he turns around and pulls out his sword and starts cleaving into the ice, trying to get to this egg quickly. We gotta, I don't crack. think they're gonna like that. Drag, we gotta get out of here. Drag, she's begging you. She's pleading. Rock, make him do it. Rock. What? What are you? What are you asking get, me? To, to, to use your magic. To use teleport my... us. Yeah, to teleport. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, let's go. All right. Drag. How many minutes does it take to cast that spell? Ten, I think. Ten, Ten minutes. Is it, or, is it a, or is it one minute? Yeah. I let's don't know. find out. Teleportation circle. I think it's ten. It's a one minute cast. That's what it one is. minute. That's one a minute. great time. Okay. One minute cast. You you place your hands on the ground and the circle begins to form around you. As you can hear <gasps> the sound of of ice starting to break. The the building itself shaking. And as you're reaching the 50 seconds, you can see the, uh, they, he's reached the egg. He's he's like he's gripped at the scaled out exterior of it. Close. No. And as 
the sand begins to whip around you, letting you know the spell's ready to go off. Where are you sending people, Thrak? Oh, Where we're going to Southway. We're just going to Camberol again, I think. Camberol? Really? I, you want to go I, that far? Well, I don't. We don't. Have, I don't have any place to you go. Have, you have uh, one in Mock. Oh, do I have in Mock? Oh, I have one in Mock. Okay. Yeah, in, in here in uh, in Zalari. Uh, Okay. Mock. Yeah. mock, 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 yeah, mock. That's where your three allies are waiting for you now, since yeah, mock, you, they sorry. figured out you were going to the right yeah, temple. Yeah. All right. As you, uh, as the sand begins to whip around, you hear the sudden shatter oh of ice begin to rain down, and a booming voice calls out, I am free! You hear wings uh, open up above you, and suddenly... Uh -oh. Your forms dissipate. That room gone as inside the inn where your party is waiting, sitting about, suddenly sand <laughs> whips about, puts out the fire, gets in people's drinks, sand splatters everywhere as you reappear at the circle they made. Oh my god. The dragons are back! Oh my and god. as Amelia shouts out the dragons <sighs> are back to the three party members sitting there drinking. That is where tonight's session comes to an end. Yeah, I gotta go, but man. Okay, what the hell did we just do? You you made a very morally good decision, you know? You freed a fire elemental. That was a good. I made a morally good decision. I'm very proud. All right. Right. Who knows? Playing. Maybe you have buffs. Thanks for DMing, and thanks for listening, and uh, remember, don't trust the dungeon master. Good night!